You know, I might just Whoa, do that. We're up. We're here. We're here. We promise. We're still here. Woo, woo, woo. This time on uh, 30 FPS, and I've, I've upped the bitrate again, so we'll see if it if it plays nice at 7,000. Anyway, we're uh, my server's loading in. The gents will load in in a minute. Uh, no more hush-hush conversations as we were having. Sorry about that. Um, anyway. So is this technically episode 8? <laughs> it's episode... I'm calling it episode 6 for real. Because we didn't really get very far in that other one. We learned that Mickley should not host. <laughs> we also learned that the spline update should come out sooner. Okay, server's we up. Any, do we got any new like public news we can updates on that we can talk about? Um, we no? do have a great bit of public news that I'll hopefully be able to share with everyone in a video tomorrow. We'll see. We've got a good preliminary test at tunnels for the game. So when are you going to bring me on to do one of these videos? I'm kidding. I, do you want to do a video about stuff? Let's do a video Aww. about stuff. People will see it. This is fully live. Yes, hello. We are fully live on 1080p 30 now. Let me know if we're dropping frames or if it looks like crap. I, I'm trying to run 7,000 bitrate, which I still may not work. But Well, if you're at 30p, that means you're already dropping half your frames, Huss. Well, I've got a 144 frame or a 144 hertz monitor, so I'm technically always dropping like all of the frames, but you know. Um, you said it was EBT 16. Gah! Yes, that one. What? What? Okay, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm just, just. Live? Yeah, that's fine. Leaking nothing. No, it's went. fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, just... Yeah, we're dropping frames. It's okay, they're dropping frames. The leaks. We got a new leak in now. Yeah, now, see, no, now I... I have to be the one to control the leaks because there has to be news if I say it, apparently. Anyway. You know, I feel like you're only saying that because I told you so. I'm, I was, <clears throat> I'm just generally curious about, like, the locomotive. <laughs> I'm not trying to, like, say, hey, I'm not, not going to, I don't know if I'll, I doubt I'll make it or anything, but. I, I actually don't know anything. anything about it myself. I just know that's the one that they're restoring on the railroad, so. Oh, All right, I was, we, I backed it down to, us. I backed it down the bitrate to 5,000, and it seems to be happier now, so. Apparently 5,000 is what my internet will let me do. Yeah, because the bitrate doesn't care about the frame rate. They're two separate things. Well, then, uh, the people that were in my comment section previously were just liars. <laughs> I mean, so there'll be more detail per frame, but there'll be less of those frames. Let's see. Um. Well, <clears throat> let me know if this looks better than previous streams. If it doesn't look any better, then whatever. Well. Uh, I'll, then I'll you can tell it's here. you can tell it's thirty. I'll um, pop but it looks it looks oh. pretty smooth. Oh, we had a handbrake on. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'll pop out. Let you guys go back to your game. Sorry if I was like. You know, no, you're good. Like you're that. good, man. You can you can hang yeah, out all, all you want. Stuff. It's fine. We need ways to stretch the continent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're genuinely good. If you want to hang out, Carl, by all means. Uh, I know. I just feel like I'm. Like, I genuinely need a break, man. This train is so long. That is 16 cars, and, isn't it? Yeah, and there's not enough room to turn this around on the Y, so I can't actually, like, back in and do shunting. I have to transload across. Well, you could, um, you could cut it in half. I mean, I would have advised putting the log cars on the rear next time and uh, kicking the log cars towards the pond and then just keep it on heading on down towards the smelter. That'd be a smooth drop for you. logging camp doesn't allow for that setup. Well, that's annoying. We should put a runaround in somewhere. Way. I said somewhere. I didn't say anywhere. Yeah, what well, he said. Where? <laughs> go build it. Go build it, Huss. Oh God, do you do you want me to? It'll be your one contribution to a track that actually gets used on a regular basis. No, it won't get used because the trains won't make it around it. <laughs> hey, now I'll have you know that I put out a video about railroad track today, and it was very informative. It's not helpful at all for the game because it's about real railroad track, but. And this is supposed to be reassuring? I know things about track. I just don't know things about splines. Well, I know things about splines. I'm just not a patient person. 
I mean, yeah. We already like, knew that. Putting that video on real roller track is saying that means you're good at track. Me, it's like me saying I'm a log sacking aficionado because I have certificate in warehouse operations. Fair. <laughs> Will there be a drag race between the 440 with 55 inch drivers when it's imp implemented in the Eureka? Um, that would be a good bit of fun, but it won't really matter because the 55-inch drivers are going to smoke the Eureka. Maybe not in a quarter mile, but over a couple miles for sure. Mickley, I have joined your company again. Okay. I'm not sure what weight of rail is in modeled in the game. I, I don't know for sure. I'd have to look. But to my eye, it looks like it's about a 55, 60 pound rail. Just a guess. I'd have to ask one of the modelers for sure. Carl's drunk. Now I'm stuck again yes. with the not being able to move. You can't move now? Well, I can move. I've gotten used to it. I'm used to playing like this. You're spoiled with host privileges. That's a thing that happens regularly for clients? Yeah. You want to go watch my stream? Like, I can move, but it's all jittery and, like, my sprint keeps resetting. Oh, no, I literally couldn't move in last the last episode. I'm having no issues. Yeah, well, there you go. Lance's Machinist, everything's going well. Could I tell Clown that you're proud of his effort in Railroad Trivia? Clown, you've got a supporter. Yeah, thanks. That was obviously sarcastic. <laughs> it seems, I mean, you can it seems only genuine. Call it an effort. <laughs> Tyler Owens asked 65 pounds per yard or per foot. It's always per yard. Because freedoms per cheeseburgers is how we measure things in the states when's the spline update beta being released your guess is better than mine i wish i wish i knew more i heard from QMA midway through this week he said he was feeling a little bit better and he'd gotten stuff implemented and he was going to work on keeping things going and i've not heard since then so uh hopefully we'll hear from him shortly but it's he's uh <laughs> he's a programmer type and he is the way he is so Probably won't hear from him until early next week if I was a betting man. Nicoly, can you afford a Heisley yet? Yeah, you could afford one at the end of last game. I have $6,700. Why haven't you gotten it then? Because I've been building track. Buy it and I'll go grab it and run it. What if I want to run it? I like blowing the whistle. It's a five chime. You could run it if you want. Hey, Emily's here. Emily, I hope you saw that uh, I, I pimped the climax you sent me earlier on stream. Emily's the one that's been sending me all the pictures of the Leopoldina, or excuse me, Leopoldina railway locomotives, including that climax. I think that climax is badass. You mean the Silopagon? Silopagon. There's a lot of Silopagons in there. A foot isn't freedom units, All it right. is freedom uh, units. My chat, I need help naming this Heisler. <laughs> the Heisler. The climax is dumb. It's the least dumb climax I've ever seen. We gotta what give it some points based on that. It should be the four, I believe. Yep, it's number four. Technically, the one we lost was numbered exclamation point. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to let this load so I can talk about things. Name it Silopagon or Heisler. <laughs> Many people saying name it Heisler. Smudge the cat. Yes, you can get a shout out. Hello. Oh yeah, Chris, I should have specified that inside of the top uh, top face, head-to-head. -head. Name it Jim Rin. 
Yeah, and we need to f we need to get a good fitting tribute for Jim. I don't know if the hardcore map is a fitting tribute. Perhaps in the. I'm not sure how else we'll do it. Jim was good people. I'm gonna be taking a trip to Colorado in a in a couple weeks. Actually, I might uh, dedicate a video to him while I'm there. What's Colorado? What is Colorado? It's a state. It's a place. It's a being. Isn't it the big square state? It, it pretty much, yeah. It's pretty much a square. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't yet, referring to the to the physical. Anybody land else mass. want to give input on the name? <laughs> on the high school? Specifically plate? addressing my chat. <laughs> I'm ignoring your chat. I don't care what they say. Wow. If you want to have a say in uh, the Heistler's name, you got to go pop over to Mickley's stream. <laughs> and he hasn't even given us his n a link yet, so. No, you have to actually navigate YouTube and search Mickley. You have to find the Mickley. <laughs> it's almost 1 p.m. where you guys are, and we're just starting. Yeah, it's uh, 9 p.m. over here in the United States on the West Coast. Am I going to the Nevada Steam Up also? I haven't concreted any travel plans, but I really do want to go to that Nevada Steam Up. That's going to be cool. I've never been to the um, the Nevada Museum, and I've got friends on the Glenbrook crew. Um, and I know some folks with the Chicken, and yeah, I, I, I know several people involved. Uh, so it'd be cool to get to go see them and see, you know, 10 locomotives steamed up. That'd be great. Hmm. Right, that's all that unloaded. Well, what are my thoughts on the 3985's restoration? Uh, that was the news of the week last week, and I, I could not... Uh, I was genuinely flabbergasted at the fact that that was a thing that's happening. I'm really excited. It's going to be good things. Um, obviously, the, the group in the Midwest is going to have a hell of a lot of work to do to get the 3995 and or the 5511 running. They may find it easier to get the 5511 running, honestly, than uh, the 3985, but still super cool. Uh, and what a good move by Union Pacific, though. I think it was genuinely to save face after getting their butt uh, chewed off by the uh, Surface Transportation Board. So uh, that's kind of my thoughts. It'll be cool, but it's going to it's gonna take a lot of time and money. But I, those, those are good people. Uh, and they've got uh, the know-how based on what they do with the 261, so... I think they could figure it out. Yeah, 5511. I'm honestly more excited about the 5511 because I've always thought that was a cool engine. And the fact that it just sat dormant, stuck in Cheyenne, you know, out of reach from the public unless you got a, a special steam shop tour. Uh, it was always a bummer. And having a, a 2102 and an American one at that running in the States again would be brilliant. And it, it's such a cool-looking locomotive. Uh, I'm excited to see that. So, obviously, Challenger's cool, but 5511's cooler, if you ask me. I'll just leave that to run itself up to the Y and, and go set the switch, I guess. How do you do the lowercase characters, Pharma? Uh, on the high slot, you don't. Lance's Machinist, I'm not familiar with the guy Sol Ejector. I would love it if you'd send me some documentation on it um, in my Discord, please. Uh, what part of Colorado will I be visiting? I'll be in Golden. I'll be with the museum for an event upcoming. And I'm going to be armed, with, armed to the teeth with cameras. I uh, plan on filming five or six videos while I'm out there. Uh, for the channel, so hopefully it'll be a, a bunch of good stuff that you guys will enjoy. I don't know. We do a lot of video game stuff on the channel, of course, and we do some amount of the theoretical, but it'll be cool to be sh able to show the hands-on stuff, too. So, hopefully that'll do well. Big Boy and Railroads Online. Say it one more time, and we will mute you. JJ2078, where does heist come from? It comes from the bird in my profile picture. 
uh, the bird in my profile picture is a hyacinth macaw. When I was very young, I thought that heist would be a cool shortening of that name, and so I did that, and I've run with it since. So, heist, hyacinth, there you go. What surprised you is 6936. Yeah, that's fair, Virtual Refine Productions. Oh, and it, is that... Well, welcome. It's cool to have you on the channel. Um, 6936, yeah, the, the double D going to them is kind of surprising. I, I know that... Um, I know a little bit of inside baseball about that. But I, don't, I probably shouldn't share that on stream. But anyway... Eisler has been purchased. Beautiful. Oh, you... does that mean the cookie's next? It does. It's, we're we're going to funnel money into your bank account next, I suppose. Yay. Um, I mean, I still have Nick, a grand. Can you use your remaining funds to get some tier two cars? We're numbering from five onwards, please. Tier two lances. cars. Uh... <laughs> Hi from Facebook. I'm not sure how to say your username, but S105, welcome. etc. When's the 6936 coming to Railroads Online? Yeah. If we were to have a four-axle truck diesel locomotive in Railroads Online, it would be one of those cursed meter gauge converted SD40s. But don't ask for that either. It's not happening. <laughs> Sorry, Pharma. Five, five what? S105 onwards, so S106, S107 for stake flats, HP, ampersand, S. We've How been many streaming. Do you want? As many as you can afford, honestly. S105, S106. We have been streaming for 17 minutes this section. We had a uh, a brief maybe 15 minute attempt earlier that did not go very well. <laughs> All right, let's put the spat up here. 43, there it goes. Well, that's it on the money. No Polar Express in Railroad. What flavor of cookie is the cookie? Uh, is grease flavored an option? <laughs> the BB40-2. Yeah, they're neat. They're neat. Is the game staying steam engine only? No, we'll have diesels and, and gas engines at some point of various flavors. Their tech trees will be coming after the freight car tech tree, which Armagon is theoretically close on, so... Ooh, Climax, you arrived faster than I was expecting. Slow down. I'd begun loading the Betsy flats with some lumber and beams, thinking, you know, I'll get that loaded and I'll drag that up with me because we've got the power. Virtual Ray Fan Productions, yeah, I've seen I've seen some air rail work stuff. It's it's cool. It's cool to see here. But yeah, someday in railroads online would be great. It'd be fun to do a collab. When will turntables be better? After the spline update. They'll have their own separate update. Do you think they will let the 3985 run on UP's rail because they might have said uh, to rebuild it to their spec? I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case because I know for, for a fact from Ed Dickens himself that um, they purchased extra spare parts for the 3985 as they're buying new parts for the 4014. I don't know if those parts are being held as spares for 4014 now or if they're going with the 3985, but if they are going, I wouldn't be surprised if they asked the 3985 to be restored to their spec. Uh, anyways, Pharma, I'm all ready to go at the iron mine. Wha what's your location? I'm in the hole still. I could wait for you, uh, or I could head down the railroad. Yeah, you can begin heading down. I'm just finagling stuff down at the bottom, trying to like you know actually pull up far enough to set switches. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna head down from the iron mine. And I'm occupying track to the sawmill, and I will be ultimately heading to the smelter with six loads for the smelter. 
I am not deep in the UP Heritage Department. Uh, I've met and I know Ed Dickens, uh, and I'm quite good friends with uh, a former employee or two of the UP Heritage Department. So I can't, I can't say that I'm in deep with them or that I know their inner workings, but uh, I, know, I know a little thing. I know a little, and maybe I can guess the rest. <laughs> Been asking on the Vaucland compounds and how that would work in the game. The Vaucland compounds will, I mean, we'll try and simulate them like the real thing, where they're more efficient, but more maintenance. Cheers, digital grid music. Yeah, passing siding between the iron mine and the sawmill would be nice, but they'll hate me if I try to put track in. I guess I could or try I hard. We'll have to replace the track. <laughs> you have a try hard mode? I don't think it would be perfect still. It would it wouldn't come up to your guys' standard even if I tried hard. It'd be good enough that Clam will look at it and go, yeah, I'm replacing that. Pretty much. Um let's see. I don't I've never been to Nebraska actually, so I couldn't tell you about Omaha. Uh day and night cycle, yes. Decorative buildings, yes. RGS number one motor car, yes. All the geese have been considered. 5511 being allowed on UP. Well, they run the big boys slow anyways. It's not like they run any of these special trains at high speed anymore. So I don't see why speed would be a problem. Is there going to be snow? You can plow with the trains. I hope so. It's, it's kind of challenging to implement, but we've got people that think they know how to do it, and and we've got uh, a kind of behind-the-scenes team for pitching things to QMA now with Tristan, so. Has UP rescinded their no foreign steam policy? I don't know. Yes, maintenance will be coming in some way, yeah. I really hope it's just the dollar value that gets deducted every X amount of in-game time and Rather oh. than having to park stuff in a roundhouse for a bit. I mean, I guess like for the trains itself is fine, but I really don't want to have to do like actual track maintenance anyway. You're I don't think anyone highway. wants to do track maintenance. No, I 100% agree. I don't. I don't want to have us do track maintenance. I think the track maintenance being interactive would just be tedium, just absolute tedium for for the sake of uh, of nothing. There would be no gain to having that. Uh, there unless... is an easy way to do that, and that's just you have a dedicated maintenance train, and every 30 hours or so of gameplay, it's got to pass over that particular piece of track to keep it at 100%. You could do that. So you've just got to drive a train over it. You could do that. Um, a lot of players may still find that frustrating, so maybe we'll have modes between something like that as a most realistic case. Uh, and then Pharma's mode where it's just a, a flat cost based on how much track you have. And then a uh, third mode where you don't even consider it. Because um, that's the one the one thing that's annoying about a railroad is dealing with the entire railroad, right? So, so speaking from personal experience, I find myself doing track maintenance anyways because I started out laying bad track. So, like, there's always yeah, something see, that could be made better or something I didn't quite some plan for. Like good truck. And as such, I find it has already been simulated in my particular style of gameplay. Colin Mills, BNSF does not, uh, BNSF nor UP own the 4449. The 4449 is uh, owned by the Oregon and Railroad, excuse me, the Oregon Rail Heritage Foundation, or Oregon... RHF, Oregon Rail Heritage Foundation. Yes, that one. Um, and it's not owned by either of those railroads. And it'll occasionally do um, bits on either railroad, but yeah, it hasn't in a minute. Anyways, uh, Pharma, I am clear. Heading towards the smelter now. I see you over there. Here's a fun question. Have any sort of increases to sprint speed been talked about? Someone asked asked this to me earlier. They said that they wish the walk speed be could become the sprint speed, and I just simply replied to them that we've already done that twice. <laughs> really? Yeah, we, we've already done that twice. We did it once pre-game launch, and then we did it once after the game launch. 
So obviously it doesn't it seem like, like choice you just for need anyone. To get but... rid of sprinting and just make like sprinting the default while you move around and have a move slow button. That that's not a bad idea. Inverting it, and you could certainly do that with uh, your keybinds already in the game if you want to. But because you know, then at least like pressing shift to move other things slowly would line up with you pressing shift to move your character slowly. <laughs> Well, I, I have a feeling that the move speed issue will become a little bit easier when we get fast travel and implemented as well. Anyway, I've never measured this out. Let's go see how close I am to the end of truck to 16 car consist after unloading all the wood. There you go. Will there be paid DLC trains that are not unlockable? We're not planning for that. Wrecker trains. Yeah, there'll probably be a Derek. Loads of space. Oh, the NDM 365, I'm not sure what the 365 is. You'd have to tell me what class the locomotive it is. Yeah, a lot of people behind W to sprint so you have to hold shift. That's a smart move. I am one of those people. Uh, what engine would replace the inferior Eureka? Uh, the Eureka new model. We're remodeling the Eureka right now, actually. So. Yeah, but see, binding sprint to W then means like I can't move, walk forward slowly. That's true. You're actually right. There's not actually a move slow. That's actually a decent feature suggestion. I'll uh, I'll pass it on to the boss. What's my like, favorite? There's only so much you can do waggling the mouse. Sometimes you only want to move on a particular axis, and movement is a great best way to do that. Fair enough. What's my favorite Thomas and Friends engine? Um. I can't say I've watched Thomas and Friends since I was single single digits of age, but I always thought James was quite nice when I was younger, so I don't know why, probably because it was red and striking, but... Well, you know, Wasn't he red, red you go like 10% like faster. The entirety of that section in the book, and then he just immediately went back to being green. <laughs> What makes I swear the... I remember that being like a plot consistency where he's like super proud of getting like his red paint job back as a reward for a job well done and then in the very next book he's back to being green. I, I couldn't tell you. I genuinely don't remember. What makes the hard industry setting hard? It just makes you run more trains and just more money. Well, yeah, it makes you run more trains for inputs for the higher scale uh, commodities, right? So if you're running medium or easy, you can get more money faster by doing, uh, you know, higher value cargo sooner. James was never green, someone says. You're getting schooled. What you Sounds guys, like I... someone's only ever watched the Model Roadway series. Ooh, you're reading the book. Were there books? There were books. It was a book first. I, I genuinely didn't know. That. I I know nothing about Thomas the Tank Engine, so. This is like the British equivalent of um, actually. If you read the manga, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, no, I uh I didn't know anything about it, and I'll be honest, I never bothered to research into it because I was bullied in uh, grade school for liking trains, and everyone just said that I liked Thomas and was a little nerd. So I never really looked into it because it was a bit of a trigger for me. But anyway. <laughs> Wasn't my thing. Acceptable. But I definitely enjoyed it when I was a kid, right? But I think it was a, it was a point of contention, like, oh well, everyone liked Thomas when they were a kid, and, and you're not a kid anymore. Why do you still like Thomas? Well, I don't like Thomas. I like 346, asshole. <laughs> Language. <laughs> well, hey, we made it 30 minutes in. It's fine. Yeah, and Hush made the poll. 75% said curse like a sailor. That's true. Most people wanted to see cursing, although there were there were a couple of people that were more outspoken. I think the the minority that doesn't like swearing is a bit more um, into it than the majority that doesn't care. I think is kind of the vibe. So I, I think it's good to try and limit it. But if it's genuine and it comes out, then go for it. That's kind of where I'm at. That means I will have to come to bargain at a later stage on how many C words I'm allowed per stream. <laughs> C words are probably going to have to be zero. <laughs> Agreed. 
just because the United States is not into it. Anyways, um, I forgot to join anyone's company, so I now have $1,600. Sorry about that. Whoops. Oopsie. <laughs> anyway, I can buy some more flat cars if we'd like them. Probably fine. Sipping cruises, yes, you can message me on Discord. M my, uh... <laughs> my, uh, Discord username is Heist5069. Big spawn warning. I th oh, there it is. Quite the, quite the jump. Ashley Taylor is in chat, and I ha I just have to ask... You booted me. Ashley? Me. What are your dog's names? Can... Confirm for me. I've been booted. Clown, you might have just caused some derailments. Yeah, Clown, it sounds like you booted everyone from the server. No, Pharma, I guess unless you just rejoined Pharma, everyone else disappeared. I got I've just booted. rejoined. I'm it the fastest joiner in the West. Okay, so I saved I saved just before that crash. So we could, uh, we could reload if it's an issue, I suppose. You crashed? I, I didn't. I didn't. Be an issue. I didn't I crash. Think... No. Sorry. Before everyone got kicked. I think it's just going to be like some cars have been derailed because I was moving towards a switch that I hadn't been set yet. I was in the process of setting it. Gotcha. All right. Ashley Taylor says they don't have any dogs. Okay. Not the Ashley Taylor. I know. Never mind. Um. Christina. Yep, Hart two. Christina Hartley, I don't know what the NDM 365 is. You gotta tell me what it is. Pier Marquette Berkshire is standard gauge, therefore not there. Oh boy, the bots. Yay, sexy times. Get them out of here. Where's auto mode? Working on it. Thanks, Clown. That was Mickley. I was well, Clown got the first one that I saw, but anyways. Thanks, Clown. You're doing such a good job moderating the chat. Need to add clown to the DRL counter for causing a large lag spike. It wouldn't be a DRL counter; it would be users kicked by clown's trackling, which no, two which would cars be. Are in the dirt because he kicked me before I could set my switch. Ooh, what do we think, viewers? Derailing, but not derailing. <laughs> you you caused the derail. You were the uh. The human factor that caused this incident. No, I think the factor was your com your internet. <laughs> My internet. I think the factor was you laying a spine with all of two seconds of warning and kicking everyone from the game. Man, we, we're 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 fifty fifty. We're fifty fifty in here. <laughs> My chat is still questioning whether or not they go to clown or not. He needs to be on the board. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'll just lay um, short four-piece segments every time now. <laughs> Make the whole server oh, lag. Uh, give some players some warning before you actually do it. Like, a couple seconds of warning instead of just going like, Hey, I'm doing this now, lol. Yeah, I think, I think you can... Uh, it's good if you lay the full length splines. Just give us a long enough heads up to stop. Give us a good 10 seconds. Only if it's a full length spline, though. I, I won't. I haven't gotten desync from anything other than that. I so. won't give Clown minus points for the spline uh, on the DRL counter. I will, however, say that due to his negligence, we booted players. So I will give a Clown booted players counter oh. on the counter of counters. Does booting himself count towards that? Yes, he is a player. Wow. He is a player indeed. So that's three? Three no. clown booted players? No, no laps. No, no, I was typing. I In the words of Anakin Skywalker, this is unfair. <laughs> I haven't been a player for at least 35 years. How can they put him on the scoreboard but say it's not a derailment? 
He's on the scoreboard. It's not a derailment. Can we have a counter that says how many counters we have? Sure. At this it point, wasn't we're derailment just though. It's two cars are in the dirt and I had to rerail them. Well, do you want to be counted on that derail, Pharma? Because it was your consist. Well, so is what what are what are how are we your determining consist. how are we determining the derails? Are we determining vote, them by I FRA rule? Keep, I vote we keep clown score for having booted players and not increase Pharma's derail count. But increase the total. Not, yeah. you wait your yes, turn. increase yep. the total. Okay, I agree with that. But since it's joint responsibility, nobody gets blamed. Safety culture. It's not joint responsibility. I was going to get the switch, and then I got disconnected from the game. If he waited before changing the spline, I could have set my switch or said, hey, don't l confirm that spline just yet. I need to set a switch. Just for my chat, that is the intention. Safe to third. See, the more the more counters Heiss has on his screen, the less screen space there is for game, and that means I get more viewers. <laughs> I don't know how that <laughs> that uh, works out for you, but anyway. I oh, can always drop the font size. I I have several times, so <laughs> we've mastered it a bunch. Okay, everyone, uh, are we right for a spline? <laughs> Is it a full length <laughs> yes. one? Uh, it's about a, a third length one. And you don't need to warn. I felt it, but it wasn't that bad. Oh no, Christ. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> don't mind Heist being dumb. I was like, oh no, I can't climb up this grade, and I had the brake on still. Total not good that's, things that's counter. That's twice today, that. It is twice today, isn't Heist, it? Heist needs a counter for tried to climb a grade with the brakes on. <laughs> Heist also needs a counter for immediately sets the reg to 100% in the climax. Oof. He watched the last stream, folks. He was butthurt. I watched the last stream and saw nobody got in the climax. <laughs> nobody wants to drive that thing. It's slow. It's the fastest downhill. It is, it is the fastest downhill, which is and kind of hilarious. And it will set up to go downhill with 16 cars. You don't even need to use the brake on that run. Speed first, tonnage second, safety third. I like it. That could be an ESD moment. I thought this was the HPNS. Oh, Excuse sorry. Th this is the HPNS. This is the subsidiary. I'm pretty sure it was also tonnage and speed. All right, I'm following you up the hill. I'm now going to see the fun game of will I get to the iron mine before I have to go piss or not? Be right back. So who's gone to go get the high slow and start bringing that over for all the flats? No clue. Nobody. I am working on bridge things because I'm determined to have a steel bridge here. Mostly because there's a corner and I don't want to have a 50 degree corner on the oil run. We need more workers. No, don't say that. Chat's going to want to hop in here. I'm back. And we all we all know what they do. We saw the 16 players. And when we have enough people oh. for one person per train, it's just two people who would rather spend time laying track instead of running trains. I got told, You'll thank told, me told later. To the coal mine. I got sent on mission. Oh, I think I see why we had a disconnect. There's overlength sections. Oh, you've created more blocks, have you? 
No, I didn't quite get it that long. <laughs> That's two inches too long. I got it only one inch too long. He has the ghost truck. I have the ghost track. I'm going to build an entire roller out of tracks exactly that long and then tell my friends to run on it. It does strange things for clients when you try and run a train on that track. I know. It bounces That's up and down point. everywhere. Oh, there's a second ghost segment. I'm glad that folks are telling me to check my fuel when I've got about half in the firebox. <laughs> <laughs> How for forgetful is he? Give him advanced warning. It would be good to see know a guy if, calls to if flame we did, out if we did want another person, in, like memoriam of me not being there. As I was saying, I do actually know a guy. If we wanted another person, um, they're fairly decent at laying track. If they are a good, I haven't, I haven't standards. seen them in ages, and they just popped into my stream, and it's like, yo. If they're cool, like, if they're cool people, it's like and they're another uh, guy. if they're it's if, finding, sorry, if they're if they're cool people, if they're nice, if they can keep secrets and all that fun stuff, sure, bring them in. All right, you heard the man. I gotta wait like twenty seconds for a response, but. <laughs> Yes, the fuel literally says 30, not 50. It's not a percentage. It's it's the, the total amount. The Eureka's fuel only goes up to 70, I think. It's kind of stupid. Don't get me wrong, but... <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, my POV is a lot of running uh, iron ore coal trains right now. Uh, this grade is a 2.5%. 2 and 3 quarter. From Sawmill uh, to Ironwood? Yeah. 2.5. 2.5. Um, the grade All the up... way from Smelter to Iron Mine. The one up top is a 6%. So. Yeah, the one up top had to be crazy. That is just... It's a long way up in the air, that logging camp. Yep. <laughs> the, the, this, uh, this bit of track, and it's so windy. It would be nice to have a passing track, but putting the passing track in would be a challenge. Oh, get... I never actually hooked the Betsy up to the Climax hole. Go get the new engine. I said I would, but it looks like it might be at the Iron Ore Mine already. Mick, did you bring the Heisler over? No, I'm no one's touching it. It's still Oh! Okay, well, I'll, I'll park the Eureka at Iron Mine, and I'll go fire up the Heisler then. Will we add early American armored vehicles? No, we will not add tanks. Can you get a copy of this map with the, uh, the track? Yes, it's available at Sheridan's website. Check the uh, the third-party tools channel in the Railroads Online Discord. No, no, Heist, this is when you need to brag about your own Discord and uh, point out that the map is also uploaded there. Yes, I didn't know that. The map is also uploaded on my Discord. Um, it's in noteworthy saves. That's what the channel's there for. It is. Pharma, I'm pretty sure... No, I guess I'm on flat here, and I'm partially on flat. Okay. Um, I am stopped just out of the foul on the line up from the sawmill. I don't know if you're able to I'm pull forward just... or what. But I am. I was dropping off some logging cars because I don't want these with me. I'm going to be running Corbwood for a bit. Okay. Um, so will I presumably be able to pull out of the way into one of the sidings or something at the iron mine? Or should I wait here till you're done? Uh, just give me one moment. Sure. Do what you got to do. I'll answer questions. Multi-track drifting. Multi-track drif drifting is kind of possible. Not really, but maybe kind of. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. This is the uh, the aforementioned person you meant, Mick? Yeah. So, uh, you know my coal mine bridge? Yeah. He's the guy who actually laid the track on that. 
So I, I built most of the foundation work and then he polished it up and it just looks amazing and I haven't changed it since. Well, so cool. like half of the coal mine line, especially into the valley, on both of those big bridges in the horseshoe bridge and the sky bridge as clown calls it, were laid by this guy. Well cool. Um please tell me how to say your username because uh, I... <laughs> Yeah, no, I knew that was coming eventually because nobody could ever seem to get it right. It's pronounced ditches. Ditches. Okay. Yeah, it was not. It was not. I, I, my my <laughs> my brain went two other different directions with that, and I didn't like either of them. So good. Yeah. No. Welcome. I I know I answered a question of yours on Facebook, and I yes. saw you in the stream. So welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so at East Broadtop M two confirmed when. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually. Hopefully, Eventually. yeah. The so. the gas, the gas and diesel stuff will be pretty far down the road, but yeah. That is a good point. Uh, East Broadtop was mentioned, and he just magically appeared because he was summoned by the East Broadtop. Yes, um, pretty actually, much. Actually, I I play this game with some frequent frequency with another guy uh, that you, I think you guys know, Angry Ragtime, and he oh, yeah. runs a, he runs a server here on Rarids Online that's uh, just called East Broadtop. And Very so, fun. Yeah, no, he wor he works full time from them, so um, you know it's it's always interesting to hear little tidbits of what's going. That's always fun to get those from the people that are there. Yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm ready to put in a big spline. So when everyone says yes, okay, I'll do it. I'm yes, good. Okay. Good. All right. So I'm guessing I need to find. Uh, do I need any to download anything? To get on, or? no, you should just need to have some information. Um, I presume I you don't. Info. He shot you the uh, stuff in a DM, so mm, it's not in the DM, it's in the he he secrets. In the one. he he secrets, take a look at the he he secrets. <laughs> yeah, the one the one where I pinged you, and that's the information you need. Obviously, don't leak it or you're banned, of course. Yeah. Of course. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Would we would we ban someone band, if we brought a man and they leaked it? Like, it, it physically, it, you're playing instruments. It depends. It depends. You know, it's all I, about I, all the things. I mean, if I were to join a band, there was only <clears throat> there's only one band in the world I'd join, and I'd probably try to join Rush as Neil Parrot's replacement. <laughs> as Neil Parrot's replacement? Yeah. <laughs> you you best the them's fighting words. You best be a <laughs> god on the drums. Um. I actually haven't played drums in about 10 years, but the best way I can explain it was I kind of Marty McFly'd myself. I got into <laughs> an accident and screwed up my wrist. So oh, I no. Play. Yeah. But uh, back before that, I used to play drums, bass, and guitar. So. Um, are you familiar at all with my work with the soundtrack or my music stuff? Um, I watched a couple of the videos on your channel. So, yeah, I do have, you know. Okay. Side. So I can't flex and show my drum kit right now. Got it. <laughs> I mean, I would, I wouldn't mind. Um, I'm just trying to. Okay. I, I can't. Okay. It's not, it's not showing up on my end as, as working. So I don't know if it's working or if it is aimed anywhere in the right spot. But there you go. <laughs> yeah. No. It's, it's just loading on my end. Okay. Cool. Same. <laughs> it's probably because I've got. Um, OBS taking captive effort of it anyway, but yeah. I mean, it's actually been a while since I played this game, because uh, the last time I played, you guys still hadn't updated the whistle to the Heisler yet. I played with Angry a couple days ago, and I heard that, and I was like, wait, what locomotive is that? He okay, like Hubris, sorry, Hubris Inc. says it's pronounced Pier T, not Pear T, and I, I swear to God, I watched a Rush documentary where they made it a point that it was Pear T, because I always said Neil Pert, and I've, I yeah. always have since heard Neil Pert, not Peart. Uh, what's the right pronunciation? Anyone? Anyone know? Neil Purdy. Purdy. Don't don't be Ron, are you deleting Neil. stuff. Neil Purdy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would explain the jumpiness. Yeah, we're getting jumpies. I I haven't joined yet. I I started up the I game. Was I, forgot to... Neil. I was calling him Purdy. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I I started up the game and then realized I completely forgot to switch it down. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> anyway, if you pull up stream, I can I can show stuff on stream. Ah! Oh God, it's Heist live in camera. 
I am. <laughs> I, I'm in the way of my own drum kit. But um, it's not a Neil Parrott kit. It's very much a John Bonham drum kit. Um, except I outdid him on the sizes of the toms and the bass drum, but I love the shit out of it. So. Language. Oh, we're, we're far enough in. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, all, we're all adults here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna then, earn myself in America. Swear, you're in a minority here, Mickley. It's on you it's to true. like censor us if we're being naughty. That is true. I <laughs> I am the only one of us that does not swear. Actually, does Tristan swear? I had oh, I can't immediately recall him swearing. But yeah, I, it's not a bad drum setup. I don't know if I've heard uh, Tristan swear either. And thank you. It's time for a time frame for when the SLO map will be finished. Uh, uh no, there's no time frame. Many monitors you have got for. That is a big kick drum. Yeah, it's 28 inches in diameter. It's huge. It's not often you see it. Thank you for throwing the switch for me. Woo, woo. <laughs> I guess you're just letting the climax run on its own. You'll catch it at the top of the hill, huh? Yeah, I mean, I still have a port to unload over there. <laughs> you can still run extended, and as long as you're within loading distance of the locomotive, you can still control it. Oh, that's neat. Uh, f I, I felt bad. Fabian literally sent me the download of the newest one uh, for Rare Zone Linux Extended this morning, and I, I didn't have time to get it going before the stream because I was at a wedding today. But... Oh, yeah. The, I I was dealing with the downloading the new one, and it's kind of weird, not going to lie. Yeah. Compared to the old one, it, it like looks way more professional now. Oh, cool. That'll be fun. Lon says thank you. <laughs> the people are jealous of my beard. It took me a long time to be able to have a beard in general, so don't like feel terribly jealous about it. Um, hang on, I need to park this. I need to put this thing in the hole so I can go get the Heisler. Yeah, no, but like, it, it put it in it, front of the loading thing. There's nothing running that way currently. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, Heist. No, it's it's actually quite an interesting story because I actually got into the band rush in probably the most backward could possibly imagine. Well, let's hear it. Tell me. Uh, so, back when I was, you know, playing instruments, I hadn't discovered Russia. Actually, I only discovered them in, like, 2016, 27. So, Relatively recent, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, I am actually a massive aviation buff. You know, I love everything to do with aviation. Okay. And so I was always big into playing flight simulators and stuff like that. And so one of my fellow flight simulator friends actually turned me on to the band Rush uh, because of their song YYZ, which if you don't know the story behind that, they got the inspiration. It's from the airport name. Yeah. It's, it's Well, it's not just from the uh, airport name. The airport uh, designation is uh, CYYZ, which gives the song title. But when they were flying in, uh, so when pilots fly in, they tune into a frequency that will start beeping at them uh, when they're aligned with the runway. <clears throat> and uh, the beep code to that was the opening riff of their song YYZ. So that's actually oh how Oh my god, are yeah. you kidding me? Th yeah. That, the, the da, rhythm of the, the ding, yeah. ding, 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 Yeah. Like, Sorry, that, like, uh, e even Cam's Getty coming back on. I've got <laughs> the biggest dumb, stupid <laughs> smile about that right now. I've, uh, I've so, always want that time signature was so screwed. I've yeah, always wondered where the hell that came from. I had no idea that that was another play into the airport. That's amazing. Yeah, no, Get Getty <laughs> Lee actually at one point during a documentary, actually, when they were talking about that song, actually brought it up. So, That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Rush, Rush are my favorite nerds. I, I'm not, oh, yeah. I'm not the biggest Rush fan. I think Rush is great. Um, Obviously, some brilliant musicians. I, I I listen to their hits. I'm a bad kid, but I love them as people <laughs> and as and as a band. I mean, just supremely awesome. That's so cool. I mean, I mean, I I'd have to say my favorite song of theirs would probably be "Early Distant Warning." So, um, yeah, definitely "Early Distant yeah. Warning." That's an excellent song. I don't know if I've heard that one. That's or from, I don't know that's by from title. My era. That's a song from my era. What album is that on? <laughs> Um, God, I can't remember. Whistle boy. <laughs> well, well named, well named, Mick. Yeah, yeah, I know. Wise guy, uh, Tom Sawyer is definitely 
It's definitely a good hit. That Tom, Tom Sawyer's cool. I like Limelight the best if I had to pick one, I yeah. think. Or YYZ. Um, Red Barchetta is really good. I love moving pictures. Oh my God, I love Red all the moving p- pictures, is. but yeah. Anyways, um, somebody somebody asked me if I did model railroading, and I'll just aim that underneath my guitars real quick. And uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't make that model railroad. Actually, uh, a very good friend of my grandfather's did, uh, and um, <laughs> his layout uh, got tore up, I guess. And uh, this is the last segment that existed, and they offered it to me because it's SN3, and they wanted it to go to someone who'd appreciate it. So they said, said, "Hey, would you like it?" And I said, "Yeah." So that's the uh, the start to my someday SN3 empire, perhaps, providing that I can ever afford real estate large enough to actually have a railroad. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> I I like I like how zipping uh, cruises is being a wise guy in chat. He's like, you always say no big boy, but nothing about Challenger. No zipping. No. <laughs> no. There in the denied ideas, there is anything that's not three foot narrow gauge, and we've been cheeky and we've accepted some amount of like meter gauge but meter gauge is really close and we needed to fill some thematic gaps in the game so anyway <sighs> oh no the the best the best part like is engines it. that go fast yeah um you you uploaded a video on april fool's day um god yes you, i'm aware I, and it I killed po- it killed several humans <laughs> i know no i i got about 15 people to actually fall for it and it was great i had to put april fools in the title <laughs> And then it, people still didn't believe it. Anyways, right, uh, could, so, uh, could you Nickley, read? Could, you? could you? Well, I guess um, I could go I get am, these, but I am between. Oh, that's I the dynamo the hand valve. the refinery and the coal mine. Are you bringing the cars too? Or just the locomotive? I'll bring the cars too. Um, I, are, are so, they still are they still roughly because like I don't know where the, if we're playing with the industry's move. I we don't. industry's moved. Yeah, let me let me send you an old minis we're gonna like. I think it's my save eight. I'll try I, so I, 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 I don't even I don't even think I have the extended on my. Computer. Oh no! Don't worry. Oh about god! It. Yeah. Let's see. I think it was save eight because I I. Saved over a couple of them. Nope, save eight is not it. Save seven is the one you just uploaded. No, yeah, save was, seven would be the that one. That was my personal map. It's save Sa- nine. Save seven was the one that you just sent me that is this version of the hardcore map. Unless you haven't uploaded it to Minnie's work under your save seven, but that's Save seven, thing. I'm pretty sure I, I loaded over. I'll check. You may have loaded it over. SN3 yeah, is a tricky scale to get stuff for. Yes, it is, but I have uh, th- four locomotives and some amount of cars, but it's yeah, kind but, of uh, best scale. Mickley, so. Mickley, I, I still have uh, extended on, so if you just want to shoot me the uh, the URL. I'm, I'm not hosting, so I oh. can't. And Heiss isn't running it. Um, oh. I'll send the Minisburg link over to chat as well in case you guys want to go look at that. Um, that's the layout of the map. It's not downloadable because we're not making it available for download yet. Uh, we might make it available for download once we finish. Back building, question mark? Yeah, m- maybe when we finish, sure. I think while Find we're in progress. While, while we're in progress, I don't want to re- release it. But when it, when it, maybe when it's finished, sure. Why not? So, I, don't, I don't see any reason not to. But, uh, uh, Midland, you were saying about the EBT being a summoning call. Were you talking about me? <laughs> I just want to yeah. just want to make sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it, it is really quite funny because, like, Angry doesn't... I don't think he really, like, fully understands my obsession with the EBT because, like, he, I've told him, like, I'm, I love this railroad, but I've never been there. Like, I've never seen it in person. I read it about it in a magazine back in, like, 2005. It just became enamored with it. Hey, uh, can I spoil something for you real quick on stream? But I'll mute my mic so they can't hear it and they can just hear your reaction. But you can't, what? you the can't say what it that, is. The thing that already got spoiled. But it didn't <laughs> get spoiled to the 251 people that are watching now. Only to the four that were on your stream. So Fair I'm gonna, enough. I'm gonna mute my mic to the stream output so they won't get to hear this. But um, <laughs> uh, Mickley's stream will, and so will uh, uh, <clears throat> our lovely new addition here. You've lined a switch against me. Oh, never mind. It rendered weird. No, Hang I, on. I, I, ha- I haven't touched the switch. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
You're kidding! Nope. That is absolutely outstanding! <laughs> My viewer count went up to a whole 15. Well, hope, some, some people, it sounds like they jumped ship to go see uh, Mickley's stream to, to hear the announcement. Don't spoil it to anyone too much, but because uh, we're trying to keep it somewhat somewhat cheeky and secret. But I may oh. need my derailment cannon updated by nine. I still haven't found my climax. What do you mean? So just real quick, Mickley, what am I looking for here on the map as a reference? Um... The steel bridge works. I suppose that that one doesn't oh. actually have the steel bridge works. It's a bunch of groundwork in between the refinery and the coal mine. That's where I'm at. So like, if you if you run up. So are 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 you talking about the like area up in the valley, or? I'm like at the at the bottom of the hill that the logging camp is on. It's it's not telling me what any of the industries are on the map. So how, make how about really uh, how about you hop on the train and we'll just go run there because I'm ready well, and I've got all my cars. One next to the iron mine. You're coming to the refinery. I am running to places where I've got hand cars. So you're blowing my own whistle for me. How nice of you. Why why hand cars? What? We didn't buy a hand car yet. Who needs hand cars? Wherever we need cars at, not hand cars. hand cars. No. Anyway. I'm, I am confused. I didn't hear Hi say something. He said a lot of words and they were all in English. <laughs> I could have sworn he said we're going to go get some hand cars. I didn't think I said that. Never mind then. Anyway. I must be weird. Well, we can confirm that. What do I think well, of Narragage? He has auditory hallucinations about hand cars plus one count. Well, that sounds about right. No, Clown heard it too. Well, okay. I just say hand cars as well. I, I wouldn't be surprised if yep. he said hand cars. I was monologuing. Chat, did you say hand cars? Yes or no? You might have thought your brain said steak cars, but then you <laughs> said hand cars. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. It was the wrong kind of meat. It's cut to somebody, beef. Somebody I've already it. said flat cars. I've been told. Uh, somebody said he totally said hand cars. So, yeah. Guilty. Guilty is charged. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Everyone is saying yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, but, uh. Well, I'm not uh crazy. Check the VOD. Check the VOD. But, uh, I, I actually have to say, uh. I thought I knew a lot about trains until I watched your, uh. Your Jeopardy video, oh, no. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was actually so proud of myself when I was sitting there Maple. watching the videos. Like, Maple. that's a hydrostatic lubricator. <laughs> Good. I'm glad that you knew that. There's so many uh. people who have no idea what some of those things are, and that was the the hydrostatic lubricator condenser valve was a get, like a total like I'm trying to get you to teach you something question. I was not expecting anyone yeah. to get that. Um, uh, no, the, but... the only reason why I knew what that was is because back when I used to play uh, Train Simulator a lot, um, the no. add-on for the uh, consolidation came out, and that was like one of the first locomotives that came out that had like the advanced driving model on it. Um, was it uh, smoke boxes so, to Edo? Yes, uh, and so part, so I ended up going and watching the tutorial, and he's like showing what everything is, and he called it the hydrostatic lubricator. So I was like, hey, I know what that is. <laughs> There you go. So, hmm. yeah, I there. I found my climax. It wasn't derailed. Very nice. How about the cars behind it? And valve, because that's what the game. Everything's it. here. It's just decided <laughs> to stall on the hill. I wonder why. Interesting. Hand valve, clan, you killed me. Hand valve was so, gosh darn I funny. I know that. I I was. That dying. was that was so funny. All and I know it, what it is. What is it? Hand valve. And it just got me in this too, because the 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 valves in the uh, oh oh Jesus, why is there a switch there? Anyway, um the um uh, the valves in the cab and and the cab models don't make sense to the modern day turrets at all right now in game, and so I I opened the wrong hand valve and I assumed it was the hand valve, but I forgot that the heister has a hydrostat or not a hydrostatic, it has a dynamo. And the uh, the air compressor. So I 
pop the dynamo valve open. So, oops. So if, if I was watching correctly, I peaked about 31 viewers for that particular announcement. That's funny. <laughs> it sounds about right. Yeah, I found out why we were still on the hill, because I only set the reg to 60% and we had three cars with brakes on. That would do it. So I mean, if... listen, here's the thing. If East Broadtop M2 does end up coming to the game, there's just going to need to be a special feature just for it. To explode it, I, randomly? No, just to, just to have it constantly break down. Right. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to do but it, it has do, to it, do it. Just... <laughs> Well, it, well, I mean, yeah, I guess you could blow, I guess you could blow the the head gasket or whatever, but no. The, so for those of you that don't know the story behind uh, East Broadtop M2, um, the East Broadtop acquired it in 1927 alongside while they were building uh, M1 because they wanted to try and like compound upon like the success that M1 was having, and they bought it from the Eastern Tennessee Railway. And when they got it to the East Broad Top shops, they completely rebuilt it. But the amazing thing about this is it wasn't the first time that it had been rebuilt. The Eastern Tennessee Western had actually uh, built this by modifying a uh, trolley car and, give, and giving it a mechanical drive, which was basically the entire reason why it was such a miserable failure. Because the East Broad Top... Um, it actually broke down on like its first like test run out in the main line. So they're like, all right, we're just gonna shove this off on you know the shade shade gap branch where the biggest grade is like 0.2, and it just constantly broke down over and over again while on like no grade. So after like a li I think it was a little bit less than a year, they scrapped it. So not to derail your story, um, but as we were coming there with the Heisler and the four cars. I was yeah. about to curse out somebody for laying this track like crap when we <laughs> started skiing where all of the wheels on the outside rail were the only wheels on the ground while the rest of them were flying in the air. I was watching that on stream. A and then I realized that I laid that track. <laughs> so, really? yeah. Well, I have some bad no, news, that's just everyone. A high thing. I'm at the end of a spline, and I need to end the spline, and when everyone says, yay, I'm ready, I'm going to right-click. I'm I mean, saving now. Spline. And I am okay. parked, so go. Oh no. Um, just out of curiosity, Heist, did you guys uh, did you guys fix the, the issue with? Um, I don't know if it had been brought up in your bugs thing, but there's a thing with saving while you're on a locomotive. Oh yeah, that's or there was. that is not fixed. Yeah. Okay. I every just, every just like, th all of that's all an issue with the auto save and not the actual game. Oh, that specific one. Oh well, yeah, yeah, where because so what I how I ended up noticing it is I was playing on a server with uh, some other YouTubers uh, like a year back, um, and um, we're and ready, clown. We Lordy. saved, we, yeah, ready. Uh, we saved the game while we were on the locomotives, but the next time I joined in, I could I wouldn't get anything but a black screen because I get I guess the it's almost like it was looking for my character position at an elevation that didn't exist so it wouldn't actually like put me anywhere um so Weird. we actually ended up having to roll back a save to where i wasn't on a locomotive to get <laughs> um you can fix that if you use the rose editing tool you can go in and tell your player model basically your data that's stored to spawn to one of the locations and that will correct it. Okay. I've got a couple um, stream the news. I'm going to like cop up this. I'm, I'm not sure what happened, but I've derailed on clown track and I was doing nothing except shoving cars up a hill. It wasn't when I right clicked. No, it was Honestly, before you right clicked. Attention. And I just like tapped in to look it. at it to like, you know, make sure that I wasn't, you know, approaching a switch point or anything. I've just seen everything derailed. And then the conversation was flying for a bit. But um, yeah, some cars have derailed. And I'm not sure what happened because I was just shoving them up the hill at you know climax speed. Um, do, do I do I heist? Do I even want to ask what I'm looking at right now at the Iron Horn? <laughs> uh, you clearly haven't seen the stream before. 
No, I haven't seen the iron mine on your shirt. There's uh, that. The, the caboose is in a cage because Pharma put it there, but we have more pressing questions to answer. Uh, ha Pharma, how many cars is it on the ground? We'll add it to the total for the episode if if it is uh, a, a debate between Clown and Pharma over who owns the derails. That's another thing, but how many Five. cars? Five are on the ground? Lordy. So seven and upgrade this by five more, which puts it at 34. I'm just like, I tapped in and we are everywhere. <laughs> we're, we're everywhere. That's a bad day. I have some stream questions to ask while we've been going, or answer while we've been going crazy. Let's see. What would happen to the engines and a rail if you don't keep up on maintenance? I assume you mean in game, because in real life it's pretty obvious. Um, but engines, uh, they'll eventually not be able to produce power. Rail, we don't want to have specific rail maintenance other than, yeah, it, it just gets stupid and complicated. So we'll, we'll think about that. Hydrostatic lubricator just sounds like jargon. Yeah, pretty much. Trolleys, no. Electric traction, maybe. EBT stands for East Broadtop, yes. What do I think of a narrow gauge loco built to standard gauge specs, like a narrow gauge uh, BG loco, broad gauge, or a narrow gauge broad gauge loco? Totally fake, but look really cool. Oh, so like an outside <laughs> frame. An outs no, he's talking about having a narrow gauge engine put onto standard gauge specs, so oh. like uh, like a outside frame standard gauge engine. Um, that would be massive. That'd be neat. But I mean, the loading gauge is a thing for a reason. So yeah. Actually, th I, th I think that there's actually a couple examples of that actually having been done. Really? I'd yes. be I'd be interested to see those. Um, I'll I'll, I'll do some research uh, tomorrow. Well, it's one o'clock a.m. So later today after. Sure. I'm yeah. Stuck. Feel feel free if you, if you can yeah. send me some stuff, it'd be great. I I know that there's a lot more examples of. Uh, standard gauge locomotives being converted to narrow gauge, like the K37, stuff like that. Oh, uh, I'm. Can that we, that we, was we, just always a case of. We can ban him. We killed. can ban him right now, Mick. What? We can ban him right now. He said the word. He said the. He said the phrase. What did he do? K37s converted from standard gauge. You pressed like I have two <laughs> buttons as an well, individual. Oh, I have two buttons that piss me off. Okay, calling so to cl so calling to clear clarify that they weren't converted from standard to narrow gauge they were initially being built as standard gauge 280s but that order got cancelled no so, explodes yeah. no <laughs> sorry uh, that clipped horrendously <laughs> i will ban you no just kidding All right, I'll, you're, I'll you're, you're 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 great people shall i explain for the sake of people that want to learn things yes i would like to learn things because that screen was very scary <laughs> 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 Sorry, this is a um yeah, this is a I have I have two I triggers. Put, I push ice is PTSD button. <laughs> Ladies and gents, I have two <laughs> trigger buttons that make me irrationally frustrated. They are I shouldn't tell them to people, but here we are. Uh they are someone saying that the engineer or the fireman or anyone in the cab is the conductor when they are not. That pisses oh, me off right driving away. Driving the train. Driving, driving the train's less, but someone being the con like, if they, I, I hearken back to this mother at Dale with Thomas pointing at me and saying, "Look at the conductor. Look at how dirty he is." After I got off the engine, shoveling coal for twelve hours in the day, and I was like, "No, I am not the conductor. Why? Why? Why you do this?" I am the fireman. I am the fireman. I just shoveled for twelve hours. The conductor sits in the caboose and tells us what to do, and he's very clean. But anyway, the other one is that K-37s were converted. No, no, they were not. The K-37s were a brand new locomotive built for the Denver and Rio Grande Western in 1928 and 1930. They reutilized an old existing boiler. End of story. There was no conversion except for the tender. The tenders were absolutely converted. They put new wheel sets with narrow gauge axles in the same journal boxes and the same frames and the same everything for the tenders. Tenders absolutely converted, but everyone says, oh, they just converted the the, narrow, the standard gauge engine for the K37s, which leads to all this bullshit about people being like, oh, so they just squeezed the axles in further and then put a new, like, move the frame on the outside. No! Well, new well, cylinders, well, that... new frame, new cylinder saddle, new frame, new running gear, new rods, new wheels, new everything. So nice. Yeah. 
Anyway. What I'm hearing is that while Brett may be like a standard gauge man in a narrow gauge world, the K-37 is a standard gauge engine in a narrow gauge track. Boom. Kind of, oh, oh. but well, like, it's well, the then, same then, size then, as the K-36 the, is the thing. Then, All of the Ks heist. are that big. Then heist, if that's the fact, then you might want to get in touch with whoever wrote the Wikipedia article. I much know! I edited the fucking Wikipedia article myself and idiot foamers keep editing it! <laughs> <laughs> Who is more qualified than me to fucking answer this? Sorry, I know I said no about swearing, but Jesus fuck, this is like the one few things that I have opinions about. I, Any, I have. Anyways, let's get back on track. Yeah, sorry, we derailed Heiss's brain we, 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 in a we massive never, way. We will never bring up a specific number of the K class ever. Yeah, no, no, they <laughs> weren't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so on the server. Can you see my skybridge? Anyways. Can you see my skybridge? Should be like what? off to your right. You're looking straight at it. Yeah, I can see a switch skybridge. Back again. So this is a 10% down to where the switch is. So if you want to come around ish this area. Um, that's oh, what I'm just ignoring the that. Uh, I was only where, where going we as far uh, as. The horseshoe. Okay. Well, next phase, we need to meet and up to the horseshoe to work from out. somewhere. Yeah, that's right. We need to work out where we're going between the horseshoe and the refinery and oil field. Yeah, I just wanted anyway, to give uh, you the engine. It was six where it ends up. <laughs> also, Heiss, if you plan on backing up, I wouldn't back up too far because you got the uh, porter with cars. Uh, yeah, no, I know we can't back up. I was wondering what the hell we're doing with these four stakes. I think we'll, uh, let's, let's, um, if you're you You're going to grab the flats off the porter and you're going to start running the beams in lumber because, um, oh, good call. can't do this downhill. Okay, so, uh, let's, uh, oh, well then let's, then we need to, uh, get the Eureka out of the way first. Um, oh, uh, yeah. Ditches, um, yes. over. Go look um, on the iron ore mine side of the shed at the track. Oh, the big I... block. Yes, go look at the block. Wait, where? The iron the, ore the mine block. Side? You should see it at the shed. There's the block of oh. ties. It's see it? directly in front of the left log cars. <laughs> oh, in front of the shed. Yeah. Yes. Okay. No, it's not in front of the shed, it's beside the shed. Let's see. Ancient Dunkirk asks, will the steam locomotives have new whistles with the next update? I don't know if they'll be with the next update, but I've provided Kimia with a number of whistles and we want to add multiple whistles per locomotive as an option, so that will be coming. 3900 I class says, make sure Jerry Day knows this before he writes his K37 book. Jerry Day is not writing his K37 book. His friend, who is a good friend of mine, William Reed, is writing the K-37 book. And I am in contact with William, and we will be talking about a number of these things prior to the publishing of the book. Are, so are, I would are, hope. Are you, talking, are you talking about this, like, graphical glitch in the track? Yes, yes. where the, it's a giant brick of ties yes. all in one. Yes, because How? the track's been that laid is... longer than it's supposed to be. Um, that is I the have block, block you are not to allowed to delete it. Another full spline, you said, clown? Yeah, another full spline. All right. A lot of yays. Go for it. But yeah, no, I, I've talked to Jerry Day quite a few times, and he is good people. Jer Jerry's good. Jerry and I have had some disagreements. I think Jerry is just a, a polarizing individual, but Jerry's good people, and Jerry does good work for the community. Um, but yeah, he, he comes off um, a little bit cantankerous online, and, and many of us do, so... It's just brilliant one of those things. So. Oh yeah, his pictures are great. Love his pictures. Like I'm, I'm guessing you and me share about like 15 of the same groups on Facebook, and we always Probably see his photos. Probably yes. Oh god, do we fit in the clear here with all these log cars? Um, <clears throat> I'm guessing probably. Not. Looks no, no it looks okay. like we're the good. Log no. cars, those aren't in the foul of anything. You should just be able to go into the other two lanes if you want to uh, go. Well, I we... would not move. Don't move back any further because nope. you're about to go off. We're parked. That's fine. <laughs> Eureka's in the hole on top of him just to be real convenient. 
Okay, so now we're gonna take the Heisler, and if he can line us on top of the Porter um, sure. to the rear, we're gonna back up to it. It's it's behind us. Oh, you're you're riding around that way. No, we're already lined into it. The Porter's on the reverse loop. Actually, we're just gonna grab it. Actually, go get in. Uh, couple me in, and uh, and then kick off the brake on the Porter, and then we'll pull the whole mess forward and we'll shove the Porter into the shed. And leave it there, presumably till the end of time, and then uh, and then we'll head down. Or actually, we'll back up, and then we'll uh, uh, unload these. Uh, you shove you shove the porter cars. If you just want to back up slowly. Yep, got it. All right, you are in. Do not... you want me to just take the porter off this and take it up to the shed? Nah, I mean you can if you'd like. That that would also work. Oh, the brake wasn't even on in the porter. Nice. Hold on a sec. Locomotives uh, uh, in the, in the, of car break, man. In the in the new update, no. Locomotives are probably not getting new whistles. We're focused on other stuff. So Midland's in my chat complaining about people who are always like, uh, X yeah, locomotive should meet up with Y locomotive I've got, and double head. I've got head. the order to realign the switch. Oh, no, that switch is aligned. Okay, well, we I have modern train lo locomotive whistles like Nathan K5H's. I hope that you're trolling. Because no. Because those are horns. So, and does he... the new guy want to come up here and see the climax take the toke? Oh, he, he should. He should. <laughs> yeah, get, give, me, give me a sec. Yeah, <laughs> I'm get... just going to get the porter to the shed. I wonder if the porter will fit in the handcar sheds. Speeder sheds. I'll make it fit. It will. Speeder sheds are pretty big. They're designed to hold speeders, which are bigger than handcars. Oh. I was told a speeder was a handcar. No, a speeder is a, a mot motorized handcar is what a speeder is. Usually the, a, single, a single piston or single cylinder pop car engine. I mean... To be honest, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that's excited for that cab forward. <laughs> the cab forward's weird. The cab forward's just weird. I It'll be it. neat, but it's weird. Yeah, the, it'll be cool the, to have. But the best part, the best part about it is the boiler that they used wasn't even like designed for like a Mar steam. Uh, yeah, steam marine, engine, marine boiler weirdness. I mean, I, I I saw the picture and then I saw diagrams. People shared drawings with me after, even after we did the the shit post rank the tech tree video with the train nerd group. And <laughs> oh yeah, that one instantly was uh, F rank, wasn't it? It was instantly F rank, but it would have joined the F this rank had I known about the marine <laughs> boiler. And the fact that it didn't draft worth a damn until they cut a hole in the front of the cab. Like, <laughs> it's ridiculous. The, the I history of that thing. That, I didn't even know that fact. Yeah, no, so it's, uh, Daniel Gullery, one of our modelers, who's a brilliant I, yeah, I historian, yeah, um, was talking about it. And it's like, yeah, no, they, they literally had to cut a hole in the front of the cab to make it so that it was able to draft enough to get positive pressure while it was working and that made the crews hate it because it was just ridiculous so so we're getting that as an upgrade when it comes to roller rides online right <laughs> probably not but anyway okay um i'll i'll run this down the hill i don't know if you want to head up to the logging camp and see where what farm is doing uh, which not... way am i going uh you oh. would up yeah so um let me let me up the hill just go me, up the hill kept, kept, and some, follow uh, me follow me no 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 follow me follow me so basically uh aim yourself this way follow follow the the direction of my pawn just run that way up the hill and you shall eventually find the logging camp it might okay, be slightly so it's, more it's to the, left. the other side of this mountain uh, yes, no, it's on the it's, top, it's of, on the the top of the mountain. mountain. You'll 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 see it. It's on top of a mountain. So, yeah, I, I have a I have a very very basic understanding of this map. All right, I've I've only seen it one other time. So, we timed out Urban Ash Gaming because they're annoying as fuck. <laughs> Fair enough. 
Is that the guy that keeps asking to play with you every single stream, like, four times a minute? No, it's the person that's been saying, Big Boy and RO, Big Boy and RO. What about Polar Express and RO? <laughs> Listen, you're not getting Big Boy and RO, but you are getting something that is literally, like, a quarter the size with, like, three quarters of the horsepower. You're getting... The, the L101 is more <laughs> impressive of an engineering feat than the Big Boy, which is why it never existed, but, right, I mean... so I, I am up here at the lobby. Got there pretty quick. Anyways, let me stop before it I get there. It's really not that far as the crow flies. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I could do, uh, you know, 140% down and get to the iron mine in under a minute. <laughs> 140%. Well, you know, casual. <laughs> I mean, the other server, the other server I play on, we have we have a couple things we call speed tracks, and it's basically it's like, it we actually have one coming out of here, and I think it's literally like right over here, like where all the tracks start curving back to get to the industries. We just have it like drop off this cliff, <laughs> and we'll just occasionally. I have something like that. I call it a roller coaster, and I put it in the oil field. Yeah, but uh, no, okay, occasionally we'll just drop down a log car. <laughs> but yeah, we'll take this entire thing at a pretty consistent 25 miles an hour-ish. Yeah, he hauls the butt down the hill. Anyways, I, um, I'm almost I, I, in the clear with the Heisler heading down the hill. Now, I, 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 I can't help but notice that, you know, your your train isn't to, you know, full railroad regulations because I'm not seeing a boost back here with lanterns. It's not. It's true. We don't. We don't run by rule on the um, well, hope, pray, and suffer. <laughs> we yeah, we are yeah, in I, the clear, uh, Pharma. Yeah, yeah, you're I, you're I, not I lined at the bottom of your alignment, but you are in the clear. Yeah. No. I, I carried the caboose up on my back. I mean, that's how we cage? used to get trains up here at the side of the stream. <laughs> but um, no. Actually, speaking of that, one of the most impressive um, photos I've ever seen of just... Excuse me, one moment. Heist, did you line us when we're coming down so we don't have to stop before the switch? I did not. But, um, I think one of the most impressive photo, rare related photos I've ever seen, which just kind of goes to show you just the lengths of human ingenuity when it comes to moving things at, to places where they have no business being. Uh, I cannot remember <laughs> what rarity it was, but, uh, so they had to transport this, uh, locomotive by water as near as they possibly could to the railroad that was operating. But the only problem was, is, uh, the railroad was, like, on the other side of, like, two mountains. So their idea was, we're gonna lift this thing up to the top of one mountain. And then basically make like this giant zip line between the two mounds, send it over, get it down the other side, and deliver it to the rear. I'd like to see the steel cables that they thought they could zip line <laughs> a locomotive down. Oh, it worked! That's the amazing thing. I'm sure it did. Engineering, in fact, does work. You just do the math and realize that the answer is a really big number, and you go, oh fuck, who can make that? And then it happens. But. <laughs> Yeah I, yeah, I will see if I can find that photo. Nice spline, uh, whoever did that. You for that. Yep, Sorry, you should have. Sorry, my bad. It's all right. And I'm pretty sure they just went the Thanks for doing that, like, right in the middle of our run, too. You almost caused a derailment. <laughs> well, there <laughs> pretty, be a DeLorean? I'm no. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure in that little hiccup there, I'm pretty sure the whistle on the Heisler's gone. Um... <laughs> Robert uh, Lorenz, or Lorenz, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't know how to pronounce your name because you've got lots of accents and that scares me as an American. But they ask, um, what is the maximum curvature they think the L101 will see? Well, it's hard to say. Never existed, but 2882 with that wheelbase, knowing that the big boy could do something like 20 degrees, ma absolute maximum at crawling speed, I would think maybe a 15 degree curve. Uh, would be your kind of at speed kind of limit. Real life, not in game. So in game, currently seven and a half degree would be my guess. But I don't know. It, it would be somewhere in the seven and a half, ten region. So 15 to 20.
Why is it always so Man, that's hard to find? Right there is consistently like semi spicy. I think when you have Clown go do another patch up job on this truck. Why is it that whenever you're looking for a photo, you can find it, but then when you don't, like six months later, you're like, hey, there it is. Too real. Yeah, that's that's me all the time in my Google Photos. I've taken too many thousands of pictures of trains and I can't find the ones that I need when I reference videos or doing reference for <laughs> stuff and whatever. Case in point, it was funny. Um, I put out my Diesel one, 101 video maybe three, four weeks ago. And uh, <laughs> I had myself scratching my head at a couple things like, oh, I don't remember that, don't remember that. Wish I had my notes. Wish I had the, the course guidelines from when they taught us this stuff at BNSF. And uh, we were cleaning out the basement the other day, and uh, I found that I kept my notes from BNSF's GE and EMD basic classes. <laughs> and I had the, the fold guidelines, and it talks about the exact oil pressures and water pressures and Man, the way the system works. And... That stopped. That's a little right. silly. Here, I'll, I'll throw this switch. Anyways, um, I'm All in the right. clear. I'm in the clear at the sawmill, though I am lined for uh, my track here, so you're not lined past me. I'm gonna pull up and stop and go use the restroom, and then it'll be the on to you guys. First five cars get the brakes off, please. First five cars get the brakes off. Yep, that's how many brakes I set to stop in time. As soon as he leaves, there's a bot. Of course, Actually, I'm, I'm still here. Chat. That's Never in your mind. chat, you're getting botted. <laughs> All right, be right back. It's a new bot, though. Haven't seen this one before. And you just grab that switch as we go past. I'm going to go get the iron ore cars and we'll start loading and do a dual run of cordwood and iron. All right. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch up with you, though. We go 11 miles per hour, it's fine. And run speed is what, 20? <laughs> 15. Let's see if I can't hot fix, delete the bot messages. When it's faster to get around the map by running. So what, we're grabbing the coal hoppers? Yep, we're grabbing the hoppers, just pull the Eureka out and we'll shove it on the back of this consist. It's a cricket sound effect. <laughs> Just for when none of us are talking. Just have it like as enabled as like a streamer mode in game that just picks up if you're talking. <laughs> yeah, so uh, for those of you asking to join and whatnot, be like ditches here and have built me coal mine track like six months ago. <laughs> yeah, you have to join the poop poo streams before you get to play the real boy streams. I, I, I was I, I, streaming I mean, at the I, time, dude. This yeah, was no, right when I started yeah. playing the game, back when we still had voice chat. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I will say this. Don't ever expect me to, um, like, just straight up build a route because I actually absolutely suck with that. Where I'm really good at track building is if somebody gives me a foundation to work with, that's where I'm really good. I, I mean, here's the thing. If you lay a crappy foundation, it's going to be a crappy track job because I'm I, I work with what you give me. So, if you get if you give me a really good foundation to build off of, you're going to get good track. See, Clown's As... not convinced that you actually lay good track now. <laughs> Definitely not. 
I was gonna about to say that's not clan approved track. <laughs> I will admit what I I I actually prefer playing this game on other people's servers versus my own save because my own save uh it basically looks like like temporary logging where it's just track however it's laid. <laughs> um but that's just because I don't I don't put a lot of time into like my own personal saves because I'm not I'm not trying to impress anybody. So hopefully with the spline update, uh, some of your stuff gets easier. Oh, hey, look, that's not my stream. Yeah, that's a new bot, by the way. Same one that just hit me. <coughs> Oh, the be the best cams one. Thank you, you, thank you, chat, thank you, chat, for telling me that I am muted. Cause yes, I was still muted in stream. Uh, uh, but uh, you just want to quickly go make sure that there is at least a link and pin, one of these consists that we're putting together. Yeah, I got it. I'm not a. I haven't been AFK for a minute. I've been obviously running trains, but yeah, no, I. Uh... <laughs> All right, shut I... back and we'll start loading the first car. Where you go put the Eureka in the hole. I muted my uh, my stream oh, sound so you didn't have to hear me the tossing hole? the tennis ball for my little my little doggo. Yeah, the planet can do all this by itself. Now chat's gonna ask you so, to turn like, the face cam to see the so doggo. Loading, then go put the oh. Eureka in the hole. She doesn't like being held, so it won't happen. And the one that's very cute is probably upstairs somewhere being aloof, because that's what he does. Wise guy, no, I did not. For a few seconds. Wise guy did not catch her commercial. <laughs> oh, you know, it might be stuck. There we go. It, it was stuck between a stroke. <laughs> I'm actually going to head out here in a bit uh, as soon as I get this first bit of guide track in. Yeah, I've been going almost... Oh, what's your monetary status like? Oh, I might have checked. I've got 2,400. 2,400 what? Oh, hey, money. that's right. Husk gave a bunch of iron ore money to someone else. I gave it Freedom to myself. I, I have $1,888 myself. All right. I go ahead, pull forward. Is there a narrow gauge version of the AC 12 cab forward? No, there's not. I mean, technically, yes. Technically, yes, there is an air gauge cab forward, but not a 4882. It was a very sad, strange 440 that has our pity. Yes, it was a very strange 440 that has our pity, but was what gave Southern Pacific the idea for the cab. It's forward. true. It's true. It, it does. Just, just it does deserve it, that honor. If, if just imagine if that locomotive didn't exist, we might have actually never had the cab forward. Wouldn't that be a good thing? According no. to most people, no. The cab forward, the Southern Pacific cab forwards, the big ones, the articulated ones, were actually brilliant and good pieces of engineering that actually made it so so many crews didn't die of suffocation in the the long tunnels on the Southern Pacific. They're actually cr like critical in the development of the railroad. Um, it's like cab forward confirmed. So anyway, but yeah, no, those were super important because. Uh, you know, who else wants to get black lung other than me, so. Uh, every other rail pen. Oh, well. Something, <laughs> something, coal smoke smells good or something until you smell it too much. The Heistler's firebox is square. This is unacceptable. Those corners are not self-supporting. Anyways, for another video. Also, the holes in the fire door are wrong. What happens when you start criticizing your own game? <laughs> hey, listen. As it, that's actually a, if you can criticize your own game, that's actually a good sign. Uh, Jeez, Jesus, yeah, you should have. That bad. was quite the lag. I was not paying attention. I kicked myself. Singed beard. I'm, I'm kicked. Sorry. You've been kicked. All right, Mick. We now, we now need to have Mick kicks. Yep. 
I wasn't even paying attention. almost caused a derail a second time. Just wanted to let you know. Did you derail again? No, it wasn't almost. I was just slamming into this contest at maximum speed. Yeah, like no, I, if, yeah, if we had been going any faster during that, we probably would have derailed a few cars. Ouch. Yeah, if the Climax was a fast engine, we would have derailed. Sounds about right. Casually was not even paying attention. What are the beams in the Heistler's cabs for? Uh, they're boiler braces. The Heistler's oh, ones are, are very weird and large. And I'm not entirely certain why they are right, as they good, are. Looks like they're actually frame rails for the Heistler. In the case that the frame splits into a low and high member here, because it doesn't have a traditional engine, and the low frame continues there, and the high frame runs along here. Which makes it terribly inconvenient, I'm sure, while you're actually in the locomotive. Oh man, this guy's slow loading. Oh. Ah. It's because one of these doesn't always work right. Man, now I gotta run all the way back. Yeah, that's not how you do it. You know, I'll show you if the next one I wanna pull it up. Hey, can we get a save gonna, drop, please? Yep. Fast load. Save dropped. Velocipedes, hand cars, and speeders. We have hand cars. Speeders will come eventually. Velocipedes are kind of silly. Roll cage knows, but. Yeah, no, for some reason, my, my mouse is, like, really slow with dragging those things down. Okay, you can go ahead, stop her up. Perfect. Talk out, Cam. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, I could I could aim a camera at Maple, but I couldn't pick her up and, and show her. She doesn't like Wait, to be seen. is this seen. actually a thing? What kind with of doggy is she? She is a Heinz 57, one, one of every flavor. Kind of oh, a, uh, she's long, weirdly long with a long neck, uh, but a chihuahua, but kind of tall. Uh, she's kind of, no, she's just her own thing. She's cute. It sounds How like you, a foxy. Kind I didn't of. even know that you could do that with the iron ore mine. See if we can do it. Yeah, See the if iron we can do it. Mine, the coal mine, Maple. and the uh, oil Maple. Like refinery, Maple. if you, you know, Maple. want to just spawn a bunch of oil Maple. cars inside each other. Come here. Hi, Hello. Maple. Stop, 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 stop. Hi, you have your tennis ball? Doggo cam? Can I have it? Oh, that's a mess. Can I have it? Doggo cam? Where's Can Doggo? I have it? Maple. Doggo. Doggo. Maple. Maple. There it is. It's a small doggo. She's, she's trying to, to put the ball uh, at my crotch right now, which is her favorite place. But yeah, you, there's Doggo cam. That's one of the two. That's Maple. That is, that's a foxy. Yeah, She's a foxy. Man, the there, the Jack I've got. I, mean, I have awesome. a. I have a drum kit that needs recorded mix. So I have about twenty different XLR cables that run across my floor. Yes, it's disgusting, but I've never gotten better about it. So here we are. <laughs> All right, loaded. Move up next car. We gotta get you on the cable management trends. I'm so bad at cable management. Please, somebody help me. Find me up to wherever it is you live, and I'll do it for you. <laughs> Noted. Has a Cindy Marola gaffer tape. Yes, <laughs> send her all a gaff tape with you. How much it... ore did you just void on that? How much what did get voided? This man just loaded like fourteen ore into a single car. Mm -hmm. Heist plays guitar. Heist yes, plays, plays guitar. guitar. I hope so. <laughs> What what gave it away? The fact that I have that many You're guitars over guitar. there and that's not all of them? What gave it away? For reference, I was serious. Yeah, if you paid to fly me out, I would do cable management for you. Um <laughs> I uh, we could possibly discuss that being a thing maybe perhaps. No, nah, it's not going to happen. Some what are you kidding? That's such a stupid idea. Clips and some blue tape. No, so the, the reason it's really a mess right now is because of the basement flood and resetting things up. I still haven't even uh, hooked right, up the mics on my drum kit, so the, the, the cables still run all over the goddamn place with no no sense of reason behind them. Okay. Hi, Slur. What's your current bearing? Um, I just left the sawmill heading up towards the iron mine. Where are you at? All right, we're just like sat at the iron mine, so I guess I'll pull into. The no, I'm I'm still at the si uh the sawmill. Let me uh just I'll, I'm still facing the wrong way. Oh why? 
and uh, and then hold in the hole for you. So come head on down. I'll be out of your way. And so Maple. Reference, uh, sorry. Maple so is important. yeah. Maple is now at my left thigh with her tennis ball and is like, "Hey, you paid attention to me. Why haven't you thrown the goddamn ball yet?" <laughs> I so we because we, the bowl is an outside toy. R no, no, it's not, Pharma. You don't know. You don't know this little girl. This little girl is she has a problem. She is like the worst alcoholic you've ever seen for the tennis ball. She is ridiculous. So our other dog, Magnus, is an Australian Shepherd, a mini Australian Shepherd. And we thought he was the most tennis ball obsessed dog we've ever seen. You'd have to throw the ball for an hour hours on end even to wear him out chasing the tennis ball make him want to lay down and you know like go to bed he's about two years old now so he's a bit of a pup but um he does not hold a candle to maple she is way older than he is she's about five and she is just she needs the ball it's like i don't know what poor traumatic experience this poor little girl has gone to or gone through where she just needs the ball this bad, but she needs this tennis ball. This is like um, her everything. <laughs> so, so it's, heist. it's like a, it's a security blanket. Um, it's worse than a security blanket, though. It's like it like I've seen dogs that have one, but her it I've is got to take it everywhere with them. Every no, this is every second of every day with her. It's worth. It's a security yep. blanket thrown in with a. a thing I, I she's so cute she's so sweet so, she's the best um, dog but good god one has a has a rubber anyway. duck and the rubber duck must go everywhere she goes but uh heist uh as just real sharing quick. dogs Ju just real quick for you heist uh somebody has updated the wiki have they uh, really the since, yeah. <laughs> since so, they heard the stream yeah, we've so impacted here, the here, goddamn here's wikipedia what it says, here's what it says now dogs. I'm hold on hold just on, hold on. I, no i need I, to show off my labrador and look how well behaved he is it's uh, a labrador and there's food in front of him and he's not inhaling it nice that's impressive we, we will show that on stream but um but yeah so uh here here's what it now says it says the devon rio grand western k37 is a class of 282 mikado type narrow gauge steam locomotives built for the Denver and Rio Grande Western. They were all new steam locomotives built in the Denver and Rio Grande Burnham shops as a cheaper option to Baldwin K36. That's the wrong. Were converted from standard. They weren't cheaper. <laughs> they, they were, weren't, but they, they were initially built as a cheaper option to Baldwin. They, they were, <laughs> they, so it was, they were built as a fuck you to Baldwin because they, <laughs> they, they bought the 10 K36s in 1925 and they loved the K36s, and they wanted 10 more. So they asked Baldwin, hey, could we get 10 more K36s? And Baldwin said, well, hey, you haven't finished paying us for the first 10. How about you finish paying us for the first 10? And then, because you're a podunk little stupid narrow gauge railroad that's not called, I don't know, the New York Central, perhaps we'll trust you enough to then buy you another set of locomotives. And Rio Grande said... Ah, we're West Cowboys. You can't tell us no one time. We'll make our own locomotive. Um, and so they made the K-37, basically. And, um, yeah. And it was worse than the K-36, kind of, but better in some ways. But also worse, anyway. Unlike Mickley's other sky bridges, this one actually connects two points. Which one? Take a guess. Oh yeah, no, I saw it. How many oh, bridges have you seen on this map? It's actually so it's so strange because I saw that bridge on the stream the other day and just seeing it in person, it's like, wow. It like, actually looks good. <laughs> like yeah, no, but it's like I'm just like thinking because like I know that bridges aren't the easiest thing to work with in this game, so I'm like, how did you manage to glitch them so they actually stayed? Well, about seven hours worth of streaming. <laughs> okay, Pharma, I am wide and back in the hole, just about at the sawmill. Oh, Christ, you're close. You're not lined. Where do you need to be lined to? Smelter? Uh, smelter. Working on it. Christ, Christ, Christ. Oh, hopefully that's you up there. 
Uh, your your whistle as as the host yeah, is hauntingly we're, we're, close. Franklin, yeah. go get ah! Stop! Stop! <laughs> Brakeman, that means you. Go get all the brakes. I'm working. I'm working. I'm well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were just lying into the yard. It's not the end of the world. It for took some me reason, for forever some to reason, why. Nice you're playing or something. It actually some just reason, started playing. <laughs> no, for, for, some, for some reason, the only thing that's like a solid object on the Heisler's tender is the thing I keep running into. <laughs> And that's so anyway, point. we're tonnage trying to push like eight cars of cordwood and six cars of coal, so we can't go up anymore. So we're going to have to pull into the yard and then pull back out and down well, to the smelter. I guess that's the the way it goes. Then it's Wait, not so the end of the world. So what are we, we doing? We got to line this. He's got to come ahead because he can't back up anymore because he's over tonnage. So we'll line the switch. If you'd line the uh, the light the leg by the Heisler, I'll line this leg. Um. Okay. Oh, I see. What yeah. Yeah. Right. So, so when, he, he, when he comes through. Yeah. So he's gonna come this way first. He's gonna pull straight in the yard, and then he's gonna shove back that to you. Brakes on because yeah, holy we, crap, we, we're going slow. Yeah, we do because you told me to turn on brakes. Well, now go get the brakes. Uh, you know, go get the brakes off because you know which ones you put on, and I'll get the switches. I think I only managed to get the first two cars. Pharma, oh. you're aligned to the yard, the longest track or the centermost right, track. Yeah, Brakes are up. And I'm lining this other switch if I here. Threw the switch now. <laughs> Probably not good things. Mickley, this new brake when you brought on is just the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Guy Gamer? You're asking me to read your commercial in a commercial voice, but I don't see what the commercial is. Did you send it to me on Discord? You've said that a sev several times. My chat is telling me I might need to turn you down, Heist, when you're screaming so loud. Oh, well, it's only here and there. <laughs> yeah, can I, it's only when you call me playing. a conductor. Yeah, only when you call me a conductor. Actually, I'm being, well, I'm being a brakeman right now, not really a conductor. Anyway, farm out three cars, two cars, one car. That'll be fine. Back it up. Start and meanwhile, with... he, yeah. meanwhile, he's just right here on my end. Yeah. Just glitching Bring, through bring it back earth. 20. It was like 20 minutes ago. Well, he can either repaste it or he could... Uh, <clears throat> or he could send it me on Discord or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what he's asking me to read. If he's asking me to read... I, I can't scroll up in the chat. All tabbing out and then scrolling up doesn't work. When you get a high screen count, you guys will have to keep track of that. Not me. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to remember, but um, I think it was one of the K classes, but there's a museum that owns one. If I remember right, they removed the super from it. I, I know it's a... Uh, you are you, you, you are just the embodiment of, like, random tangential foamer knowledge that vaguely triggers me, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm a jack of all knowledge. But no, that's the that's and master none of the scales. That's uh, fair. Um, that's like, so I don't want to make an example out of you because you actually seem pretty knowledgeable. Like you've, you've done a fair bit of reading and learned things, and you know people and stuff and words and stuff. So this this isn't directed at you, but it's directed at people that are the people that end up becoming you, I suppose. Dot JPEG. Yeah. That may still come off as rude. I'm not trying to make this rude. Um, oh, no, it's fine. But there... Heist, Heist, there's one thing I can tell you right now. There is nothing that you will ever be able to say that will make me feel offended. I'm not the offended type. Okay, well, fair enough. So Anyway, um, so there, uh, there's a group of people who really like trains out there in the, in the world and in the industry. Um, and they learn things on the internet off of Wikipedia that is, has poorly written articles. Yeah. Ugh. You know, and shit um, like that, right? Um, and they take that knowledge to heart, and then when they spout that knowledge, people call them idiots and foamers and stupid shit. Um, but they were just trying to spread stuff that they learned in a positive way, but the people that do it always look at them stupidly. So one of my prime goals in my channel is, hey, let's talk about the things that people should know or that people don't know and get people educated, like let people know what the insider knowledge is. Anyway, foamers, yes, thems, yes. thems be the ones. Anyway, yeah. 
Uh, no, I mean, that, that's also Fortunately, I came in here knowing absolutely nothing about trains, so I can't say anything that will set Heiss off. True. Yes, you can. He told you what to say. I, I, did, I did, it's true, but... <laughs> okay, I earned them. I can say things, but then Heiss has to blame himself, because he told me to say those things. It's true. <laughs> See, listen, all you need to know is Silopagon. That's it. Silopagon. His truth. Yeah, so. he, he is an educated man. <laughs> Silopagon. <laughs> Anyways, um, so you Sorry, talk you of you you talk of the K class that had its superheater cut it out. Let's yes. talk about that K class. That K class is the Denver and Rio Grande Western K twenty seven, previously a class one twenty five as modeled for railroads online, not yet in game. Um, but originally a class 125 turned into a class K27 in 1924, originally built 1903 to 1905. The 464, as it's road number on the Denver and Oregon Western, was donated to the Knott's Berry Farm, or purchased by the Knott's Berry, actually probably purchased by the Knott's Berry Farm in the 50s when they bought the C19s, the 340 and the RGS41, along with all of the other uh, passenger rolling stock. And they no, quickly, no they quickly no, realized. No, no, not very far. In a minute. My, okay. The, the Knott's Berry Farm quickly realized that the 464 with its trailing truck was much too large for their railroad, but um, they had already cut the superheater units out of the locomotive, knowing that they wouldn't need to use them on their flat railroad. So they right. retained the superheater header and capped the superheater units to reduce the amount of leaks they may potentially have to deal with. And then sold the thing to the Huckleberry Road in Flint, Michigan. And there, the 464 resides. It was in service until about late last year, where it went down for its 1472-day inspection, which is mandated by the FRA once every four years of straight operating days, hence 1472 days, or every 15 years of service for a steam locomotive under Part 230 of the uh, Code of Federal Regulations. Anyway, that yeah. that's the story on that thing. But yes, it got its superheaters cut out, but some of the K-27s never had superheaters put in, so it's kind so, of neither yeah. here nor there. So, But yes, superheaters are better, so it was kind of sad that they did anyways. But... Uh, by, by, um... Mickley. Mickley. My little story about Knott's Berry Farm is my family has gone twice now, and I was not invited. Oh, that's unfortunate. I have been to Knott's Berry <laughs> Farm four times, and it's great. Everyone should go to Knott's Berry Farm. Everyone should go ride roller coasters. Roller coasters are great. Well, see, the first time they neglected to tell me that there was trains there, I was only going to be able to be there for like two days because of exams. And I'm like, well, that's not worth just going to an amusement park. But like, oh, yeah. By, by the way, there's a K-27 there. <laughs> yeah. The K-27 cool. hasn't well, been the there since stuff. forever. Cord yeah. Cars, please. Uh, the cordwood? Roger. Granted, I could have done my own research, but that's and besides the point. Bit. Hello, I, hi, Sly, I hear you. I, I am not disconnected from those cars yet. Set. Heisler is in approach of the Iron Ore Mine. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I, to I totally get what you're saying about, you know, the entire Fomer thing, and there a lot of the times there it's knowledge that they've, you know, read on something like the, uh, with me and my knowledge, um, it's always kind of come down to, I, I've always been, well, up until, like, the last five years, I had been, you know, over the years working on various pro uh, projects for train sim and stuff Can like you get that. that switch behind me as I'm going past it, yeah. the very last one. Um, so what what I ended up doing, working on those projects, um, I ended up, you know, getting into contact with, you know, people who actually worked for the railroads that we were doing, which is why I have so much not, like, off the top of my head knowledge about the East Broadtop, because I spent, like, the better part of seven, eight years constantly emailing back and forth with Lee Rainey, who is basically like the lead historian on the railroad so uh clown get money clown yeah get cl money. clown get money but uh, i'm <laughs> unloading lumber for you as well right now so wait you want me unloading these or i got it i got a whole twenty dollars 
<laughs> but yeah, so my knowledge of the East Broadtop actually comes from the fact that I have tried working with groups to build the route for train simulate train simulators on four different occasions. Have you really? <laughs> yes, and none of the so the first one I was working on was back in the Microsoft Train Simulator days, and then Christ, uh, this is this is a long held yeah, thing. Yeah, uh, so, uh, so Microsoft Train Simulator was where I started, and then we, I tried it with another group in Trains 06, another group in Trains uh, 12, and then the most recent one that I did was. Uh, I don't know if you know uh, Will Coleman on the East Broadtop uh, Facebook page. I don't. Or not, uh, but he was, him and a group of uh, guys were trying to work on building that route. And so I offered my help as, you know, kind of an informational guy. Because I still had, like, you know, all the spec sheets, all the grade charts, all the track maps and all that stuff. And building blueprints and everything like that. And so I joined up on that you know, helping them get inf the information that they needed and bit and working as a, um, a route tester. But because of, you know, time constraints on his end, the project has kind of stalled, so... Um, that I'm is just, such yeah, a bummer. I'm, the East Broad Top yeah, is so cool. Yes, the East Broad Top is such Breakman an amazing... Breaks. Trip. Yes. Um, uh, they're the front three cars up on... I, I speak from experience having been to Lynn Modinger's personal H03 layout. Uh, the East Broad Top's cool, and he's got yeah. a great depiction of it on his railroad. Yeah, and... no, I, 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 I've, I've seen photos of that. I mean, there really is a thing like, yes, the East Broad Top is an amazing railroad, but for some reason when it comes to the train simulator community, it is known as the cursed route because no matter... How many times you try it, it, the project never gets done. Well, so this is this is like the modus operandi for railroads online. That is why we're trying to do the three foot narrow gauge stuff. Because yes, East Broadtop has had it worse than the Rear Grand stuff has. Yes, there have been some depictions of Rear Grand stuff, like vague depictions of Drangle and Silverton that sucked in trains or uh, train simulator that uh, Kuju put out back in the day. I guess this. Railworks oh, or whatever the hell it's called you. now. Oh my god! Whatever, whatever the hell it's called now. Uh, Train Simulator 2022. Um, you know Dovetail that games. Uh, Dovetail Games version of Train Simulator. Uh, yes, there have been like other little things for the CNS. Like the Clear Creek Narrow Gauge is pretty good, which is cool. That's a cool route. But it's like you see those little pieces, and that is it. And there uh, is so much narrow. Like nobody's done a great. Authentic model, even the Durango and Silverton or the Cumbrace and Toltec that's scenic um, and does it justice all the way through, as okay, far as I've seen. I know seen. that railroad. Well, you do. Is it the Cumbrace and Toltec three times on one question? Dies, <laughs> dies, <laughs> dies. <laughs> well, I mean. The uh, Durango and Silverton website actually Sorry. does have Once, a third-party one... uh, route for Train Simulator for the uh, Durango and Silverton. Yes, that was the one I referenced, and it sucks. Having full, uh, full uh, out there support, I, I donated $315 to the DRHS for the support of their Locomotive 315, and it's 1472. Having that full out there... I have also purchased their route for Train Simulator, and it sucks. Sorry. They didn't um, develop it. They just uh, got it sponsored, and it's just not... I mean, it, the track's accurate, but the scenery is just not enough to keep you entertained, if you ask well, me. I mean, I'll, I'll, also, at the, the same time, that you, what you have to realize that is that that a lot of the stuff in that route is ported over stuff. I believe, It is. I it's believe ported from version. MSDS. The, the K27 yeah. is. There's no cab view. It, it's just, yeah, it's just not satisfying. Yeah. You anyway. Know, I, was be, I was about to be an idiot and ask why we were going so slow, and then I realized where the cars are going. Railroad <laughs> critical. I am running from the iron mine back to the sawmill. Yep, you're in the clear. I'm just very slowly trying to align these cobra cars so we can get four in on the siding. Uh, well, let me cool. check. Um, yes, the DNS has a route of their own that is you can uh, get from the DRHS society, but it's about, it's not worth it. I, I wouldn't buy it. 
half unless you're really the really desiring to to run the route I think this is good for all four cards. Jay Christensen, no, I will little... fight you offline about that. <laughs> the K37s are as much a conversion of the standard gauge 280s as the Reading T1s are rebuilds of the 280s from that road, which is just to say they're only such if you can't reusing just the boilers. The hardest part of dealing with a steam locomotive is the cylinder saddle. That is the most complex difficult frustrating piece the piece that people can't really cast anymore or if they do cast it is incredibly expensive I, I, new, I new cylinder saddle new boiler new gauge new locomotive that is the end all be all current money more money current money oh 27 12 20 dollar Oh, sorry, forty-two fifty-six. I had to turn. No, that's and turn barely out of. I mean, Ditches has two grand, so. I need an. I need another hundred dollars, please. Oh, we can. can we something. can we drop a save real quick? Yeah. Okay, I think we're just gonna have to be content with doing it in lots of free. Save dropped. All right. Um. That's going to be all for me for tonight. So thanks to everyone who tuned uh, into my stream. I'm um, going to drop a link uh, in Ice's front, chat. Uh, wait, Reminder. Towards you or the front as in the one at the end here? The actual front, all the way up the end. Okay. Uh, who, whose uh, thing am I, whose crew am I joining? Clown. Clown. Yeah. And just a reminder for everybody watching, there are midweek streams hosted by me that are labeled as half or three quarter episodes in which we do track maintenance and just other stuff because Heist does not have as much time as I do. And Pharma is usually there too. So if you want to go get notified on that, again, the join path. the Discord, get the role to get you, notified I, with that. I asked and you Carl, the one that talking about closer to the engine or closer towards the end of track. <laughs> make sure to yeah, like, subscribe, Christ. and comment to both streams. I'm trying to do an outro, you two. Sorry. And like say goodbye. I'm trying to be a good. I mean, this YouTuber. person knows now, and he still hasn't gone and unloaded it. I don't know which car you're talking about because he told me the front, so I did the one right here, and you're telling me. And the try front. the other front then, because I'm clearly talking about that front. Okay, because I asked you, and then you just said the front. Anyway, <laughs> gents, leaving. Bye, Mickley. So... Thank you. Thank you for streaming. Appreciate bye, you. Bye, guys. <laughs> Um, for, for everyone else, if you ever wondered why the FRA mandated that you have to put the F on your locomotive for which direction is front, Pharma's conversation right now. That's the goddamn reason why. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Robert, Robert Lawrence, uh, pick up the, the Clear Creek narrow gauge will be a much more fulfilling route for a three foot gauge on train simulator if you want to do I train simulator three foot gauge. That that's the best and only good three foot gauge line I've seen in the game so far. So I'd go pick that one up. My my only real complaint with the Clear Creek is um, the fact that the route seems very uh, wheel uh, squeak happy, where it really has no business being that happy with it, like wheel squeak though. Oh, wheel wheel sounds? Well, like, you'll be, like, going down, like, through, like, even the slightest turn, and it just sounds like the wheels are, like, oh, that's, screeching. Like they're that's the jump. game engine more than anything else. But, yeah. So what, what are we doing now here? We'll flip the switch. Just making sure. Don't want to flip a switch unless you need a switch. When I asked what makes cylinder saddles so difficult, uh, they are a very intricately cast part with about a zillion core boxes. It's not that they're necessarily difficult, it's just that casting has become a non... Like, it's not a trade anymore. People don't make core boxes and people don't cast complicated parts anymore. Yes, there are some companies that can do some of those things, but it used to be very commonplace to be able to do those things. And to cast a cylinder cost. with all of its necessary bits. I mean, there's a lot to it because it's all in one. The valve, the cylinder, the inspection ports, the 
disconnecting the cars. The holes for the cylinder there, costs the them. whatever, you know, oh. lots of stuff. Casting is a lost art form, as Lance's machinist oh, nice. says. That's that's the truth of it. That's the problem. So I didn't even know that you could see. I'm learning stuff today. Pharma, oh, Pharma. Okay. If you want to learn how to play this game, Pharma has broken this game more than anyone else. Pharma will teach you how to play this game. I've got tutorials if you want to learn how to do everything else in the game the right way. That's true. Clown, Clown <laughs> is the person to watch if you want to learn how to do things the right way. And I've referred at least 15 people to you this past week. So hopefully you've seen some amount of uptick in your numbers. Uh, but <laughs> Christ, I've had so many people asking about, who's that guy? I can't find Clown. I have money now. Maple is throwing her tennis ball at me. I can. She's tossing it at my shins, being like, "Yeah, throw it, throw it. Why aren't you throwing it?" And I have uh, got the calm one. You have a four cars, by the way. Okay. All the way up to the... Hey, Captain Slow. Welcome, and well, <laughs> congratulations and welcome on being a moderator at the uh, RO Discord. Good to see you here. Uh, I don't think the brakes are on these cars, so... Give me a minute so we don't shove them off track. There's a brake on the front. You know, my heart is with the K37, but thoughts on the K28s? The K28s ride considerably better than any other narrow gauge engine. They ride really well. The suspension's great. Uh, they're not as okay. powerful, of course, uh, and they're a little weird with the low-mounted economy door. Uh, they're like a baby K37 in some aspects on that front, but... Uh, they're good engines. They seem well. They run well. The, the air compressor on the front is a, a unique kind of fun thing, but, you know, it's... They're good engines. I mean, there's a reason that they kept around three of them at Durango for eons. The good engines, Brent. Good engines. What gauge is the Black Hill Central standard gauge? Who the hell is disputing that? Tell them that they're an idiot, and you can quote me. You look up any of their locomotives and you realize they're goddamn massive. What gauge is it? Well, I don't know. It's giant and it's not outside framed. So, well, it's probably not an arrow gauge. <laughs> High slot bearing in position. I am parked at the sawmill. I can line you out if you'd like. It's the high slot. It's four, is it? Uh, we've it just started four. our journey, so I think you might be able to get out ahead uh, of us. Just I, like line I, to come I still have to load four more cars of beams. I'll wait for you. I'll line you out. We're a climax. Uh, I will line you out until I have four cars loaded, and I'll see where you're at then. <laughs> Maple is now ruining my day for not throwing her ball by farting with the most sulfur that a 20 pound dog can produce in one fart good christ my brother in christ you're the one who fed her that food When do I think mail services and other things will be out of the games? Yeah, later. <laughs> we have the first mail car in production, yes, but that doesn't mean mail will be out of the game anytime soon, unfortunately. <clears throat> we gotta get the spline update past us to get into any of the really fun stuff, but it's gonna allow for the fun stuff to come because you wouldn't have any fun trying to run mail if you could only go 17 miles an hour. Believe me that, so. In unrelated news, we're doing a uh, engine in the middle consist right now. Interesting. Just because that's how things shook out down at the smelter. Oh, Heist is pulling out. No, I've parked. I'm still in the clear. We're still oh. not even at like the big turnaround bridge, let alone the one that actually goes up to the switch. You're good. 
I ran too far and I still have to load two more cars, so we'll see. I'll probably, I will probably get ahead of you, but we'll see. I mean, let's put it this way. If you're not coming, going out ahead of me, you're going to be, like, you're basically going to be dictated by how slow I go. Well, that's fine. <laughs> oh, wait, what's the name of that high school that you're using? Whistly Boy. Whistly Boy. Or with whistle, whistle Boy with an I, yeah, naturally. Oh, is the I the letter he wanted to get lowercase? I guess. I don't know. But to quote, yeah, is big that one I think you can actually do with, like, the accented eyes. Yeah, this game is 3-foot gauge. We're not doing anything outside of 3-foot gauge, save for, like, the 2 or 3 meter gauge engines that Armagon added in because he felt like it. Because they... Well, not because he felt like it, but because they felt like they fit the theme and also the size gap. So if we had a gap in performance... Uh, in a particular line of wheel arrangement or something, he added a meter gauge engine in to compensate. That doesn't mean we endorse all meter gauge engines in the game. Anyway, um, it looks like I'm all set, so I'm going to set sail ahead here, and uh, you're not going to be lined in. One second. I'm running for you a switch. can't line up as you go past. I, I guess I could just send my brakeman up there. Brakeman, go, go make sure we're lined. I've turned off my reg so I can grab the switch. So you'll be good. You'll be lined. So when he can outrun us, I'll just make him go do it. Lined. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm on my train. Were you stuck between cars? <laughs> just almost, just about. <coughs> I just saw it on stream. We are lined. We have confirmation. Cheers to you for using the proper whistle signal, but we're past the meeting point, so just blue grade crossing. Yeah, but you just popped into render distance. Fair enough. Yeah, they're two foot shades. That's not surprising, Katie. <coughs> what is my favorite console game? Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo? Just curious. Oh, well, that's um, that's asking a big question. It's asking a really big question. Ugh. Um, I didn't do much PlayStation stuff. If I had to pick a PlayStation 1, it'd be Metal Gear Solid 1. The original Metal Gear Solid on PlayStation itself, not PlayStation 2. It's the one game I've gotten through. Uh, love Metal Gear. It's fun. Uh, Xbox, probably Call of Duty 4, because I played a bunch of it on Xbox, and I still play it from time to time on PC. It's fun. Multiplayer shooter on Nintendo anything. That's what most... I spent most of my childhood on that. Um, ugh. The best console. I, I love... I love the GameCube. I love Double Dash. Double Dash oh, yeah. speaks to my heart. Mario Kart Double Dash. Uh, these days, modern-wise, um, I love Baba is You for the logic puzzles, and I love uh, um, Overcooked. Overcooked is great, but there's many others. Anyway, I don't know if those are I favorites, mean, but recent favorites. I mean, for so for me talking about the GameCube, I actually still own mine and it still works. And so, one of the things, like if I ever like get to a point where like I'm gonna have an argument with somebody, I'll Hang just on. straight up, I'll just straight up look at somebody and be like, "That sell this in Smash. Come over to my house. We'll pop Dude. the GameCube on the TV." <laughs> And that's All right. So I always have PTSD for Smash because my sister was pro. Nice. <laughs> it, my, I left my whistle behind for you to blow, huh? Yes. Re respond with two. Did it I move? I can't hear you do that. Oh, I was, I was going to say respond with two. Two pulls of the whistle. If yes, you you have my whistle. Oh, sorry, I already left. It's now oh. like de-rendered. A oh, bummer. Anyway, yeah, no. My sister used to be a pro um, Smash player, and she would kick my ass. So I was always like, I knew how to wave dash back in the day. Like I figured it out. I thought it was cool, but 
Yeah, I was not that cool, so. It was, it was like, it's like that one famous uh, video of uh, Fox vs. Falco. Right. Daniel uh -oh. Falco, Wombo Combo, oh, 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 oh! No, I, I mean, it's literally like a 10 minute video of just them using the deflect and wave dash and like stun death. Dude, yeah, the uh, the the wave dash and the the reflects were a thing. Like if it's like something right out of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Somebody even took that video and put um, the uh, music track for when uh, Goku goes up uh, Dragon Instinct in uh, Dragon Ball Super to it, and I'm just like, my. <laughs> Could you line us into the siding so we're taking the loop going around Mr. Heisler as uh, he pulls up? I could do that, yeah. I'm just coming into the iron mine my, myself right now. You want to go into the siding rather into the uh, unloading area? No, so the other side of the unloading loop. So we're sure. just going to swing all the way around behind you. There yeah. should be enough space for your eight cars, these eight cars, these six cars, and the two engines. I'd hope so. I'm going to come down to about a slow walking pace, and I'll go check that, yeah. Next update, yes. when? When you stop asking for it, that's when. I'm pretty sure I got 30 cars into the loop before we had issue. But that, that's be real heist. Is anybody ever going to stop asking when the next update is? Nope. Never. That is the question to ask. Which is which is fair. I've, I've also been asking Kume that exact question because I want to know when the hell the update is too. I want to I play mean, the- I want to play the new version. I had a- I had a dream. I had a dream last night that Pharma and I were arguing over the construction tools in the new Spline Beta. That is how broken my brain is at this point about this stupid video game. Literally. And I mean, no, it that's... was it was objectively me and Pharma arguing over something stupid about the way the spline tools constructed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. I mean, that really is like the game dev's curse, isn't it? Like just constantly being asked, when's the next update? When's the next update? And you're like, even I don't know. <laughs> Q yeah, made the mistake of saying two, three weeks, and then the flu hit him, and then he's not been terribly communicative, and he's he's not generally communicative in, in general. He's he's very solitary. He's very much a programmer type where he communicates very infrequently. So and just randomly shows up with a finished product. Yes, yeah. So to have the oh yeah, it'll probably be around then, and then disappear, and then. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a challenge, um, and I try to be as upfront and honest and open and transparent with the community as I absolutely can, because that's my, my job, right? So, right. The job alongside my job and my other job and my other job. Yeah. How many jobs do I have? Who's counting? Too many. <laughs> yeah. You're American, though, so it's normal to work, like, three jobs. Well, you know, when healthcare costs so much and... When school costs so much, you gotta do stuff, right? Because everything costs something because we're idiots, right? Anyways, not to get into politics. Uh, trust me, I, fe I feel you on that. I live in probably one of the most expensive states in the country, so... <laughs> California? <laughs> no, the, the, California's a uh, copy on the East Coast. New York? No, the one next to it. New Maybe. Jersey? No, no, to the to the east, not to the to, southeast. It's the east of New York. Uh, uh, I don't know the this, geometry of the there. one that the, the one that started. Oh, it. Oh. <laughs> the one, yeah, the one that got this entire mistake started. <laughs> oh, massive two shits. <laughs> yeah, got it. Yes, I, I, I'm not even joking when I mean expensive. I'm talking like I rent out a room in a lodging house for eight hundred eighty dollars. Ouch. Just a single room. Yeah. I mean, the upside is all my utilities are taken care of. Oh, that's but good. E but even then, you know, getting paid fourteen twenty-five an hour, I'm still living paycheck to paycheck. Fourteen twenty-five an hour is yeah, that's that's tight. Ouch. Yeah, I'm in I'm in the hole here. Have you ever wanted to uh, join a transit operation and do transit signal things? You could get a job. 
just based on train knowledge, you can get a child uh, paying much more than that very quickly. <laughs> yeah, no. So, uh, as many people in my position, uh, you like to go get that switch. The house can actually pull out behind us. Yeah. Uh, so, as many people in my position, when I was younger, you know, the ideal situation was that I was, you know, I was gonna go get a job working for the railroad. You know, enjoy what I do. Uh, unfortunately, you know, now I'm 30 and I have, you know, a bunch of physical health issues that would pretty much make me, you know... No, I'm not, I'm not saying go, go work for the railroad. I'm saying go be a design engineer for the railroad. If you like and you're nerdy about railroad stuff and you could want to learn some stuff about how signals work, you could go get an associate's engineer position very quick and do real engineering for the railroad real quick. Just saying. Yeah. The the industry is craving people. Anyways, I'm unloading and I'm backing out. I'm getting out of your hair. Yeah, you're all set to the main. Yeah, to the point of uh, my team, my current day job that I'm trying to leave by doing YouTube. Mm, not sure I should be advertising my day job. Anyway, um, yeah, signal engineering is a dying field that needs people and it pays pretty well. And it has pretty good benefits. So, play Factorio, learn things about signals, use that in your interview. It's worked for people before. Not me, <laughs> but it's worked for people before on Reddit, apparently. But anyway. Um, as for me, I'm not the most creative of people. So designing things isn't something that really works. You don't necessarily all. have to be a design person. My job that I get paid for as a design engineer is not to do design, but to rather review Here designs. Switch, so we can go up the mountain. Uh, I did not throw the switch. <coughs> As to the Brickman. My my job uh, wait, is to throw the switch. Throw, throw the switch to go up the mountain, up the steep side. Okay, where is Hang that? On. Oh, so we're going right on that switch up ahead. I'm running forward as fast as I can. I can tell I'm getting away from you because the locomotive's good. Switch is thrown. Yeah, sorry about that. I just didn't mean to cut you off. Sorry, it was time sensitive. Continue. Did Heist die? <laughs> he muted himself so he could talk to stream oh. and finish his story. Okay. <laughs> so that means we're free to derail and he won't notice because he's distracted. He's monologuing. <laughs> well, if there's one thing I know, monologuing is a sin. According to Cinema Sins, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever watched him, but that that guy is great when it comes. To this. I watched him, but I got pretty fed up when it was clear they started just like doing things for the entertainment factor rather than actually being critical of the things that they were reviewing. Can we not do six hoppers and eight corporate cars up the hill? I thought six hoppers would lay less than eight tier one cars. Uh, so for yeah, and I get what you're saying about uh, cinema sids, but for me, I have a unique perspective because I actually work in a movie theater. That's what I do. That's what I do is yeah, my day job. Logan. So can you go ride those coal cars back down to the iron mine and then just like park them wherever? Just like detach them from us and go ride them down and then go meet me up at the logging camp. You'll probably still beat me up there. So just detach these cars and ride them? Yeah, and go ride them. You won't, probably won't need brakes. At least not till I get down. Uh, should I just put them back on the iron ore track? Or? Yeah, just put them in the loop somewhere. Probably not in the way of the Heisel when then it wants to come unload flats. Roger that.
Well, look, we're doing it just how they do it on the Chorus Railway, but, you know, <laughs> in America. America! I think it's the Chorus and the Talulin Railway that do the gravity train, don't they? No idea. Technically, all of these downhills are gravity trains, because we don't go fast enough to outpace gravity. You haven't said much for a bit. You still building? No, I said I finished. Coal mine's built, and it's built all the way through to the end of the horseshoe. All right. So what are you doing then? I'm bringing a cookie monster up to the iron mine. I think I actually hear you up above me. Hmm. <laughs> I heard some chuffing. I get to try and run along this terrible line. It's got bumps, it's got wobbles. Oh, this is some terrible track. You'll be fine running at full speed until you get to the curve around like four corners before you get to the iron mine. There's one that will derail you if you take it at full speed. Oh, and there's so much. Like, there's another piece of. Um, Overlaid track, double track. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back, Heist. Hello. Um, oh, yeah, hello, I'm, Heist. I'm back. Just wait until you see this to suicide. I'm back to tell you that I'm going to park in a siding and then save the game. And then I'm going to well, um, sign off, pretty I'm much, on. so. I'm just on the way up to the... Bringing the cookie monster up. You bought a cookie monster? I got the cookie monster. Okay, we're going to have to see that. Um, I'm... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, but I, I'm gonna have to park in the siding here. I'm gonna have to park at the sawmill. I'm parked here. You're lined into me, Pharma. Um, but I need to go speak with Mrs. Heiss. Sorry about that. So entertain the folks. I'll save for now, just in case. But I'll be back in a, in a few minutes. But I need to go speak with Mrs. Heiss. So, anyways, uh, carry on and enjoy without me. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, did I actually beat you up here? Yes, you're outrunning a climax that has to take a grade that goes at 6% when you can run up the 45%. Yeah, and Ed, you'll be happy to know that those coal cars aren't even... I have them on the track adjacent to the track. Okay, so they're not somewhere we can just back into the somewhere where we're going to have to, like, pull in, grab them, pull out, and then go to unload. Fair point. But, uh, I figured it'd just be better not to risk having at all. <laughs> this track is just so bad, all the way up. I've been up on three wheels twice now. Hey, there you are. Alright, first car is approaching Cordwood. Slower up. How come there's a switch to nowhere there? Because it originally led to a mountain of like five switchbacks to go down to the Ironworks Plateau oh, and then Tristan decided was, it was horrible was and fine. cleaned up most of it. I know the perfectionist in me wants to come over and completely rebuild, rebuild this thing that Heist did, but I think we need to leave it here because it's Heist's sins and it's bad. This track is really bad.
It's fine. It'll only be neat to run two more times once to bring the oil cars and the C70 over, and the other time to bring the box cars over. <coughs> yeah, I think once I'm done helping. And then we it. only have to look at it from the other side of the valley where you can't notice that it's complete trash. Yeah, but uh, I think once I'm done helping you load up these cars, I'm actually going to call it because it is too. That's fine, I was just gonna leave the climax park down and come down here. Oh, were you? Yeah, I said he was gonna call it soon, so, you know, I'd just leave my engine parked. Yeah, he was only waiting for me to get up to the top, and I've got the iron mine in sight. Wait, so where, where are we all meeting up? Iron mine. And you get to I take a nice long look of the triple engine shit. Oh yeah, no, I saw that earlier. I even opened up the door. I was like, oh, another door. <laughs> One does not simply walk into more door. Is it actually kind of sad that when I saw the engine shed, my, uh, the back of my brain was also like, oh, look, more door. <laughs> <laughs> Modded Jivo and narrow gauge? No, stop it. Sweeper? No. <laughs> like big boy jokes, same level of this engine, double headed with this engine. When, yeah. No, <laughs> no, one has to walk into no. uh, Dallin, I, I will allow this. Oh, there's actually a Eureka. <laughs> and so were you. Yeah, I'm actually using the engine jet for its intended purpose. <laughs> oh, did you put one in it? Oh, oh derail. No. Derail. Considering I had a switch in yes, there, and no switched it. <laughs> no one switched. Well, be in the cup. <laughs> but the real question that we should be asking here are the shareholders. So. <laughs> and I say that joking. <laughs> That's plus two for Clown. Derailed within minutes of driving, running his first train. Well, well, I, I, I mean, Jeff. To be per, to be fair, one does not simply walk into the capital. Wait, what? That was it. Was that even caught on the stream or no? No, but I have it on Shadow Play. <laughs> Clown runs first train for the first time in series. It derails immediately. Yeah, so uh, re the real question is, is it not if we're getting, you know, the big narrow gauge big boy or narrow gauge challenger or narrow gauge FEF, when are we getting a narrow gauge Deltic? <laughs> just, just for all of our British rail fans. <laughs> you want to put it in the middle lane of the shed in between the other two engines just for glamour shots? And the crowd goes Fine. wild. Yeah. I'm just checking all the switches, seeing I can't trust the switchmen. <laughs> They're all just standing around looking at me. Right, you knew that one was already lined into the um, loop. It was your job to whistle and notify the conductor of your consists for a schedule, and he could have told you that the switch was lined against you and to wait. I did whistle. Yeah, but you have to be in render distance of us. Every everything else is lined up. He's good for the stall. You know the doors don't actually have to be open, he can just drive through them. I know, but I like a level a certain level. My god, the track yeah. going to this is jank. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't care. I, I made sure to line the sheds up though. So anybody want to make bets on whether or not he's going to back it straight through the shed?
Uh, why stop? Start slowing up there. What? Um. Okay, no, that wheel is still on. It looked like for some reason. Oh wait, hold on. That no is. That might. Yeah, it's doing weird things because there's technically two tracks there. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's going bounce, bounce, bounce. Like, no, you can good. only line it up so well when, like, the engine shed is horrible to place and you can't move it. <clears throat> you know, with this kind of setup, we can play the prices right. What's behind door number two? <laughs> <laughs> it's a brand new... Cookie Monster! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, seeing some pictures of things that people have been doing with these engine sheds, it's just impressive. But yeah, for real though, these are annoying to line up in any semblance of, you know, actually <coughs> then being able to drive a train on them. Yeah, so it'd be good if they snap both ways, like you could snap track to them or they snap to the track that would be good or even if they just snap to each other it'd be nice if we just had innately modular engine houses honestly yeah well that would be really good then we could build them one two three four lines <laughs> yeah Jer so Jared, you want... on, Jared on high oh, the stream has, has even chimed in too rare's online game show when <laughs> Wait, is New Zealand still primarily narrow gauge? I didn't know that. Yeah, New huh. Zealand's three foot six. Okay. Queensland's three foot six. And Tasmania and Western Australia. I genuinely can't believe that there are 213 people on the internet that will wait that long for me to come back. <laughs> well, we've been keeping them entertained by playing... Uh... The price is right with the three bay engine shed. Oh, good. <laughs> What's behind door number two? <laughs> is the is the is the cookie here? Yes, the cookie's here. He's here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna two. drop a save, and then I'll, I'll well I guess I, uh, I'll drop a save. Save is dropped. But I, w I want you to guess how many times I got it up on three wheels over your terrible piece of track. Oh um, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Also, come uh, over here. Come over here, the Eureka Lane. Uh, by come the way, we are. Okay. By the way, high speed. vibrating for you. We also uh, need to park up a derailment. Yeah, it is. It's bouncing. What Just... der What derailed? How? Why? Uh, the cookie monster derailed coming into the uh, yard here, because he didn't notify us that he was coming up and ran through switch. Yeah, that was but, I, him. but I but I did, and there was two people standing there at the switch, and neither one of them flicked the switch. Oh, so clown ran through a switch because he did yes. not identify his points. Clown is on the oh. board. I did, I did whistle though, but obviously they didn't hear it. I mean, I, I heard you whistle, but you were still far off. I had no idea about the state of that switch. Clowns on the board. Check it. Clowns on the just board. at the end of that rail deck when I whistle. I heard you whistling much further back. If you heard him whistling, he was within render distance, which means he was very close. Just saying. Yes, he, your, he, your, he case, also... your case is bullshit. <laughs> well, well, listen. I was here when I whistled. Listen, in my defense, he never stated that either one of us should check that switch point for him to make sure that was in his favor. So that's that's engineer error. I was not in rent distance of him, so I didn't get a whistle. I there knew it go. was set against him, but, you know, I just figured, like, he'd know it would be set against him and would make an actual call to set the switch instead of just running into it. No call? Yeah, he's getting it himself. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, well... Uh, I'll, we're about to sign off here. I'll answer the last couple of questions, and then we'll we'll kick it off. Vatch Gaming asks, Do I like Bon Jovi? I mean, sometimes. Uh, the first song I learned on guitar was Wanted Dead or Alive by Bon Jovi, so by 
tangent, I must like Bon Jovi somewhat, but I don't like most of his songs. So, anyway. Klein is a clown. Yep, yep. We figured that uh, out. Can, can I just point out one thing, Zach? Um, the difference between... Uh, so, I'll, I'll take it out of Adam Savage's rulebook here. Uh, the difference between messing around in science is writing it down. So, if you played 9,000 hours of Factorio, it's per it's perfectly legit if you've been writing it down. Well, so, I mean, Factorio will give you a somewhat decent primer on a signal system, but um, as someone who has many hours in Factorio and as someone who is now a uh, commercial signal engineer, oh, God, real systems are really, really complicated. And there's so many nuances and so many obnoxious, annoying things that you never would have thought that you even needed to know. So, Just wait until you get to yeah. advanced Minecraft redstoning. That's that's nothing. That is horseshit. That's poppycock. <laughs> that that is nothing compared to anything real. But yes, but it's com it's complex. But no, it's not. It's not real. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Craig is a new break man can't help himself keeps trying to get fired now craig in my defense i was brought onto the server to help mickley build track i got thrown into breakman somehow don't know how that happened <laughs> you did <laughs> that is not and, and, you, and you ended up being he went on to say you don't want to lay track so i didn't say that i didn't want to lay track i was saying that if you guys expect me want me to build a complete roof from scratch by myself that's not my skill set laying track on an existing route is what i'm good at but then I got roped into being Brakeman, so... Well, you said <laughs> you, you said you said laying track on an existing route was what you're good at, but you said that if the route sucked, then the track would suck. So it was yeah. kind of a it was a chicken and egg thing of like, okay, yeah, I can make good stuff happen if I have good stuff, which means it's kind of worthless. The, the, the hard work's already done if the route's been made good with the groundwork. <laughs> so the hard work's already done, and if you want to know how to do it easy, it's I show it in the tutorial videos of how to use the groundworks as a string line so that you can get a decent route in but so now with put a decent track on but aren't you guys planning on doing something that are making the track and um the roadbed all one piece or if people want well, to do that yes that'll, that'll be easy. that will be an option in the next version of the game yeah but that'll just make it easy because then you can actually set the grade at the track level when you're putting the track down, you can set your grades. Yeah. Yeah, and because it'll be independent trackless, um, like, fat dirt gradient, then there won't really be any need for Z -red, um, randomization, because, you know, you'll right. only have Good the luck, one Brooks. groundwork piece setting all the ground to flat. Well, I'm going to make up a lot of noise if the combined has still got said randomization, and because it does not need it. True fact. Right. Let, it, let us slide good tracks. All right, we'll finish off the, uh, the the live stream with an answer from Daniel Lewis plus my commentary. Minecraft Redstone is IC logic slash chip design for toddlers. That said, there are some very advanced toddlers. Okay, and now know that a signal system is what you learn from Minecraft Redstone, but there are about a thousand relays per location ish. Okay, that's all I'll say. Figure it out figure out what they I do. I think I built something with that many points before. Yeah, for one set of switches, for one set of we have these three switches. Actually, these three switches here would be terribly complicated. For one crossover, 3,000 well, 1,000 relays for one, one crossover. Yeah, wire it up. Okay, anyways, there's a reason we do one it with computers. One built a built an 8-bit computer out of redstone in Minecraft. I know people have done the computers and that's impressive, but again, it's uh, not quite the same as the, the real thing in application, but it, it does get you pretty close so that you could understand it if you do understand it to that level. So, it's a good start, but not quite the so whole are thing. Are you walking up here to see the cookie, or are you just, like, hanging out, chilling? I'm somewhere? hanging out, chilling back down here, and I'll, we'll, we'll see the cookie for next time. Spoilers for next time. We see the cookie. Thanks for buying it, clown. That's going to be it oh, from man, us this time around. Um, do have a problem. It didn't take my money. I've still got $5,400. Well, you can just keep that to yourself for now. So there's, so there's another bug in the game. It said that the area was blocked. <laughs> well, I didn't put the locomotive there anyway. Well, yeah, because what happened was someone bought a locomotive and it was there, but then it moved out of the location and you never went into the render distance to see the location got cleared. So I did, you, I did, I, it was still I did occupied. Go to, 
I did go to the spot before I bought the locomotive. I ran over to Spawn before I bought the locomotive. Interesting. Well, then that's a new one. Well, Railroads and Lions got bugs. What else is new? Thanks hey, for watching, hey, guys. Hey. Multiplayer. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. Ditches doesn't say bye. My mic was muted. Bye-bye.